demons will cry out tonight i tell you i tell you yokes will be broken tonight is another miracle service just the teaching you dare not call him the holy spirit is not just a force as you will be learning when you learn his presence you will see how cheap satan is presence an unfakeable reality you can't fake it no mimicking if it is not him then it is not him it's as simple as that zechariah chapter 4 we're going to read two scriptures tonight as we begin the holy spirit is the series we'll read it and then i'll give you the course content and then we'll start zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6 inside outside online if you can follow one two read then he answered and spake unto me saying aha uh -huh, this is the word of the lord to zerubbabel saying not by might not by power but by my spirit so he shows you the key he's revealing something to zerubbabel don't waste your time this thing is not by might it's not by power but it's by my spirit second scripture very quickly second corinthians 13 verse 14 let's read it everyone it's projected one to read the grace of our lord jesus christ uh-huh and the communion of the holy ghost if you can have it in amplified that would be great the grace of our lord jesus christ just keep the scripture there the love of god and the communion it says the grace favor and spiritual blessing of the lord jesus christ and the love of god and the presence and fellowship listen the communion and sharing together and participation of the holy ghost these three mysteries should be with you the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god you have these two alone you will fail in life and the communion of the holy spirit so let's take down the course content tonight is part one we're going to consider the concept of the trinity very quickly just some little theological housekeeping the concept of the trinity and then the person of the holy spirit the next thing we're going to consider is the person of the holy spirit we're going to be examining who the holy spirit is then number three the ministry of the holy spirit the ministry of the holy spirit the ministry of the holy spirit then number four the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit it's not the same thing i said the third thing is the ministry of the holy spirit and then the fourth thing is the ministry of the spirit the bible says he has made us able ministers of the spirit the ministry of the spirit hallelujah wherever we stop tonight we'll stop and then we'll take now let's start with the concept of the trinity i want to give us some theological background so that we will really have that understanding look up please theologically speaking there are certain words that we use in the body of christ but you will not find direct reference to them in the bible there are certain words that are of common usage among the body of christ and um, i hope you know theologically speaking that christianity what we call the faith life was an extension it came 
as a branching out from Judaism are we together Judaism is a practice that is hinged in the revelation of the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob that's where the journey so the Jews from where there is also a branching out of Islam a branching out of Judaism today and certain different branches you notice that most of these religions from the story of Abraham they agree then as you branch different kinds of confusion and misunderstanding starts so there are certain words that we use in the body of Christ but they are not directly referenced in scripture one of those words is the word rapture we use it to mean a system where believers are transited out of this realm you know there are references like that but you do not find a single word rapture in the bible there is no mention of the word rapture now when you study systematic theology it's a system where you are able to use scriptures and draw meanings it is the basis for establishing doctrines it is the basis for explaining scripture according to systematic theology scripture must explain scripture are we together now for any teaching to become a doctrine the theological condition is that number one that thought that line of thought must be referenced in the old testament that's the first condition condition number two jesus who is the bridge between the old and the new must communicate that thought too in his earth work and then number three it must be referenced in the life of the early church any thought that is referenced in the old testament testified by jesus himself and experienced by the early church um, fulfills the condition to be a doctrine so you you can use one scripture to buttress on a point but that scripture isolated in its own cannot form a doctrine are we together now yeah so there are many scriptures although the word rapture is not mentioned there are many scriptures from the old testament jesus himself testified of a possibility that a time will come when he can take people to where he is in john 14 remember i go to prepare a place when i prepare the place i will come and take you so that where i am there you may be also and then paul in his pauline epistles began to open to the church the possibility of a mass exodus that he was using that scripture to comfort bereaved people and he said that they should not weep like those who do not have hope for a time will come there will be a trumpet that will be blasted and they who are dead in christ will arise first is that true and we who are alive will be caught up that experience of being caught up is what was coined that we call rapture so you cannot say rapture is not a doctrine or it's not in the bible in fact it's one of the seven tenets what we call the tenets of the christian faith i will teach you in a separate series there are seven tenets like pillars of the christian faith if you are a christian there are seven major truths you must believe number one you must be don't write it i'm just giving you a teaser number one you must believe in the mystery of the incarnation god becoming a man the bible calls it the mystery of godliness you can't just believe in a savior just like that the first thing you must believe is that there is a supreme god in heaven are we together now and then you believe in the incarnation you believe in the virgin birth you must believe in the earth walk and the sinlessness of jesus you must believe in the fact that he died and died on the cross if you believe jesus died in a motor accident you are not a christian there he, he must that cross must be there are we together you must believe that when he died he didn't go to heaven he went to hell because that's where sinners go to really hades the place of departed spirits and gehenna the place of the dead there was a transaction that happened there you must believe he rose up after three days not one week you must believe that he appeared to many in the streets of jerusalem you must believe he ascended to heaven according to hebrews offered his blood upon the tabernacle of heaven then you must believe in his return 
if you do not believe these things you are not a christian it's as simple as that no matter your denomination this is the id card of christians these seven things another series will explain them another word i'm still giving an introduction to the concept of the trinity another word is trinity you never find the word trinity mentioned in scripture there is no reference theologically speaking from genesis to revelation where in these 66 books you hear the word trinity are we together now so i want to establish it because when we are talking about the holy spirit there are many denominations today sadly who do not believe he's a person who do not even believe in his existence there are many christian sects who have all kinds of debates and all of that so before i begin to talk about this most precious personality i must establish from the word of god is there such a doctrine as the doctrine of the trinity the triune nature of god three persons coexisting in one is it biblical and is it true so what is the proof of the triune nature of god the first evidence i'll give you a few scriptures and i want us to hurry up because you will need this to be the foundation of your confidence as we learn about god and then the holy spirit media you will help us we need a lot of speed genesis chapter 1 we'll look at verse 1 to 3 then we'll go to 26. the first reference of the possibility of the existence of god manifested as more than one person genesis chapter 1 it says in the beginning god now i want you to know that the old testament was written in hebrew a uh, part of latin was also added to it but largely hebrew and then the new testament was written largely in greek and aramaic are we together now so the expressions um when you read them from the greek context greek and um, hebrew sorry is a very rich communication it can break words one word can have several meanings based on whatever context this is what was referenced here english calls god god but in the hebrew it can tell you whether it is plural or singular so the bible says in the beginning god the word god there in the hebrew is elohim and elohim is always in plural the singular is eloha one of the parties so we see here that the bible is referencing based on the hebrew manuals that this personality is not just an individual god created the heavens and the earth then verse 2 and the earth was form was without form void and darkness was upon the face of the deep the hebrew rendition of darkness and voidness is tohu wa bohu it is darkness and confusion the same word that is referenced in isaiah chapter 60 arise shine for your light has come behold darkness and gross darkness the same word is used here i'm just giving you some theological foundation and then the bible says and the spirit of god now take note the first single personality of the trinity revealed from scripture is not the father not the word who we now call the son jesus yeshua but the spirit of god are we together now it says and the spirit of god moved round the face of the water so we see one manifestation of the trinity verse 3 and god said elohim 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 let there be really the the context here is actually eloha but i'm saying god at work elohim because he is speaking are we together it didn't just say god appeared are we together but god spoke the word so we see the word we see god we see the spirit are we together now then in verse 26 it says an elohim the same word is used again said let us let us a classic confirmation it didn't say let me an elohim a discussion in heaven going on let us now maybe i should tell you that the original names of god or the titles god was never called father the concept of god uh being called father 
was a revelation that Jesus brought are we together now yes the word father means Abba comes from the Greek word it means your source and sustainer but father like a procreator a progenitor of a personality was never used in the Old Testament for God are we together they understood fatherhood but not referenced to God they knew him as the almighty God they encountered him but that knowledge as father his original name as revealed to the people was El Shaddai El Shaddai El Shaddai the deity that is limited the expression there is the multi-breasted one like a mother breastfeeds her child now he has such abundance of supply it's an attempt to explain his limitless dimension and then Jesus according to Revelations 19 his name was never known and called Jesus except even by prophecy it was Emmanuel are we together it was a name that was given by the angel to Mary that they would call him in his earth work his original name John 1 1 Revelations 19 was and will always be the word and then the Spirit of God now the Bible uses a very interesting word he never really began to express him as the Holy Spirit notice that he called him the Spirit of God um, are you following me when you call him Holy Spirit you are right but classically speaking you are wrong because God is a spirit and he is holy Jesus is a spirit although he ascended with a body he is holy are we together the Holy Spirit as a person is a spirit and he is holy you as a person you are a spirit and you are holy so if I call you Holy Spirit it's still not it's still theologically correct so we just call him Holy Spirit because of the unique reference to him but it is rather an attempt to describe him the name the standard name that the Bible calls him is the Spirit of God no man knows what is in the heart of a man save the Spirit of that man the Spirit of God I will use the word Holy Spirit for for us but I, I just I'm giving us a background so we see in Genesis 1 26 let us make the Trinity the next reference very quickly at the baptism of Jesus in Matthew chapter 3 from verse 14 to 17 Matthew chapter 3 from verse 14 to 17 please give it to us but John forbade him this is the baptism of Jesus look up everyone John is baptizing people now and then all of a sudden Jesus shows up behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world Jesus is coming to be baptized and then John you know he said no 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 I also need this baptism and then why will you come to me 15 Jesus said suffer it to be so that scriptures will be all righteousness will be fulfilled and then he permitted him verse 16 and Jesus when he was baptized so we see Jesus God in the flesh the son of God by reason of their office the second person of the Trinity then the Bible says when he came out of the water lo the heavens were open and what do you see there the Spirit of God another personality Jesus is in the earth the heavens are open we see another personality descending in the similitude of a dove then the Bible says descending like a dove and lighting upon him 17 and a voice so we see Jesus on earth the Holy Spirit is coming upon him and a voice of another personality who is not the Holy Spirit and is not Jesus speaking this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased hear ye him and all of that so I'm showing you from scripture that the Trinity the concept of the Trinity is biblical two more proofs ready Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 this is Jesus now teaching the disciples himself Jesus himself is teaching the disciples Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 Matthew 28 Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 Matthew 28 Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 and Jesus came and spake unto them saying everybody listen all power the word there is exousia is given unto me in heaven and in earth 19 go ye therefore this is Jesus teaching 
and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the father in the name of and in the name of the holy ghost jesus himself acknowledged the fact that they were a trion reality in the in the realm of the spirit the godhead expressed in three personalities ready for one last proof acts chapter 7 verse 54 to 59 acts chapter 7 this was when stephen was about to be martyred the bible says something happened when they heard these things that stephen now the martyr the first recorded martyr when stephen was teaching them on these things the bible says they were caught to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth 55 we're reading to 59 but he being what so we see the holy ghost in stephen full of the holy ghost one of the personality of the trinity he said he looked up to heaven and what did he see the glory of god the similitude of the face of god another personality and what did he see again jesus standing at what so full of the holy ghost here on earth god in heaven and then the holy ghost at his right hand read on and he said behold i see the heavens open and the son of man standing on the right hand of god you can even stop there the point has been established so you see that from scripture old testament the gospels and the epistles i reveal to you that there is such a concept i know why i am for some of you this looks basic but many people who represent different sects some not even believers are going to be listening to this message and it's important that we start from a theological foundation so that it does not look like this is a pentecostal or charismatic phenomenon the concept of the trinity is established by the word of god there is such a concept now let me tell you a few things and i am very emotional as i say this the subject of the person and the ministry of the holy spirit in my opinion is the most misunderstood and most neglected teaching in the body of christ the subject of the revelation of the personality of the holy spirit i don't think that there is scarceness with the teaching of jesus as the son of god i don't think there is scarceness of the revelation of the father especially new testament believers we talk a lot about the fatherhood of god but the person and the ministry of the holy spirit most believers have almost no idea about the person of the holy spirit now the church especially the 21st century church is not in ignorance as to the reality of the power of the holy spirit we watch televisions every day and we see people falling from church to church you come for koinonia and you see people shouting and flying all around but the person this entity this personality called the holy spirit is what i want to introduce to us tonight Who is the Holy Spirit? Who exactly is the Holy Spirit? We must know who he is. Why is he so important that Jesus had to need him? Jesus walked upon the earth, never was able to do any serious kingdom thing until he came. Who is this personality so important that the saints of old, although they did not really know him, but they could not resist his influence in their lives when he came upon them they could not articulate they never had a relationship with the holy spirit they could not know who he was they only related to him based on his influence upon them there were only two people in the old testament who communicated such an appreciable dimension of intimacy with him number one was samuel the prophet number two was david the man after god's heart these two personalities seem to have accessed deeper dimensions of their work with the holy spirit a prophet that the bible says his word did not fall to the ground it was the psalmist that said cast me not away from your presence he said take not your spirit from me 
who is the Holy Spirit now let me tell you something the Holy Spirit is not a bird the Holy Spirit is not a dove you have to believe this the Holy Spirit is not candles with fire on it the Holy Spirit is not anointing oil the Holy Spirit is not water the Holy Spirit is not wind the Holy Spirit is not sound all those things are similitudes of his operation similitudes of his operation but not him the Holy Spirit is not an influence he's bigger than an influence who is the Holy Spirit number one the Holy Spirit is God the Holy Spirit is God he is not like God he is not a friend of God he is not a mentee of God the Holy Spirit is God every description that you give the Father every description in terms of honor and acknowledgement and power and might it suffices to communicate the same description to the Holy Spirit now the difference of the Trinity is not the power and the might but the system of their functions and their offices it is based on that that we now classify the father as number one the son Jesus as number two are we together and the Holy Spirit as number three the Holy Spirit is not junior God the Holy Spirit is not the inferior part of God he is God in every way in every system deserving of worship deserving of honor deserving of trust so the Holy Spirit is God number two the Holy Spirit represents the unlimited presence of Jesus Benihin calls him Jesus unlimited the Holy Spirit represents the unlimited presence of Jesus when Jesus walked upon the earth he was bound with a body listen give us quickly please John John chapter John chapter 14 verse 16 to 18 John chapter 14 verse 16 to 18 the Holy Spirit a manifestation of the limitless presence of Jesus so it is it is fair and scriptural to say the Holy Spirit is Jesus unlimited without bounds when Jesus walked upon the earth he could not be everywhere at the same time it is the Holy Spirit that makes it possible for every believer to receive Christ he is the representation of the presence of Jesus on earth and in the heart and life of every believer and I will pray the Father this is Jesus speaking and he will give you another comforter you've heard the word the Greek rendition is alos parakletos alos and heteros these are words that mean one of the same kind or one of another kind when you say alos it means the same in quality and species like the cat family are we together the bird family when you say heteros it can mean many birds but not of the same maybe a dove and an eagle they are not the same so we have alos and we have heteros here it is alos parakletos another comforter that he may abide with you forever next verse next verse verse 17 even the spirit of truth whom the world listen jesus is saying the world cannot receive him why he says because it seeth him not so the first reason why the carnal man cannot walk with the holy spirit is why because he seeth him not now facebook and the social media has taught us that there is a possibility to relate with a personality you have never seen before facebook came they taught us something i think in secondary school or primary i don't know which one pen pal something that you write letter and post to another stranger who replies you but now with facebook you can communicate with a personality you do not even know and from his expression you can even know he is not happy yet you have never met him the person is in brazil you are in nigeria and you are communicating praying together 
growing together and you can even say how are you my good friend the world does not see him neither knoweth him an encounter not awareness the world cannot have an encounter with him because he is not the way you encounter physical men this is a spiritual encounter the two reasons why people cannot experience the person of the Holy Spirit don't forget this number one because they cannot see him except it is given to you by the grace of God you cannot see the person of the Holy Spirit with your optical eyes you can see the expressions of him you can feel the power of his presence you can see the influence the wind is in the similitude of the Holy Spirit you may not see the wind but you can see the paper it carries you can see the clothes it dries that's how the Holy Spirit is so you cannot you believe there is wind because you see it drying your clothes picking papers and occasionally dust can form a tornado and this is the effect of the wind but the wind is not a tornado the Holy Spirit represents the unlimited presence of Jesus in the earth number three who is the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is the wisdom of God the Holy Spirit is not wise the Holy Spirit is the wisdom of God look at me of the Trinity the Holy Spirit represents the wisdom of God you have to understand this the wisdom of God that's why Jesus had to wait for him to come so that he will walk in wisdom the Holy Spirit is the wisdom of God number what number four the Holy Spirit is the revealer of the presence and the power of God not just the conveyor but the revealer only the Holy Spirit can make the presence of God and the power of God real to men listen without the Holy Spirit no matter what miracle you see it cannot change you I hope you know in the Old Testament they saw miracles yet they were not converted in the New Testament they saw 5,000 people fed by five loaves and two fish correct they saw the water turn into wine they saw Jesus walking yet they still doubted him John the Baptist himself who commissioned Jesus in ministry doubted whether or not he was the Messiah Jesus resurrected and when he resurrected the Bible says he went to his disciples he said but some doubted why because they had not received the Holy Spirit only the Holy Spirit can reveal the presence and the power of God to men see let me tell you something that's why there are people who can carry anointing they can sit in a meeting you can be dispensing the gifts of the spirit accurate prophecy you can see someone fall under the anointing and roll and get up and at the end of that meeting someone can be nodding and say bros are you there now i see we didn't attend the meeting powerful meeting with signs and wonders but without the presence of the holy spirit there is no conviction there is no change there is no transformation Jesus sent the 70 are we together now Jesus sent the 70 Thomas was part of the 12 and the 70 Thomas used the name of Jesus casted devils but when Jesus resurrected he said no way until he comes and I put my hand in his hand and then Jesus came he said Thomas do it he said blessed is he that has not seen blessed is he that has not seen but believe the conveyor the revealer of the presence of God who is the Holy Spirit let me give you a shocking definition number five the Holy Spirit is the author of Scripture the Holy Spirit is the author of the Bible the same way Benihin is the author of good morning Holy Spirit the same way Bishop Oyedeko is the author of covenant wealth or a covenant of prosperity the Holy Spirit this book belongs to him it was not authored by Zondervan 
it was not authored by um, um, White Taker House. This Bible, scripture, was authored by the Holy Spirit. You are a hypocrite if you try to read his book and ignore him. The author of the Bible is the Holy Ghost. Two scriptures. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 21 and then Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 21. For the prophecy, listen, came not in old time by the will of man. Luke did not write the Bible because he was intelligent. Listen, John did not write the Bible just because he leaned on the chest of Jesus. Isaiah did not write the Bible just because he had to write. He said the will of man was too small to have written this Bible. Look up. There is no man that wrote the Bible just by their will. No. It takes more than willingness to write this. There must be a personality and an influence. A compelling force. 90% of the people who were used by the Spirit to write the Bible were not educated. They were illiterate. So how was the details of the character of God so captured with minimal error in spite of their personalities? Some of them never met themselves but see the synergy and the consistency of their communication. No prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were what? Influenced. The same word, the Holy Ghost drove Jesus to the wilderness so men wrote they speak and later documented it as moved by the Holy Ghost listen to me carefully I, I may want to write one book now maybe translate some of my messages into books and I can tell the media department or we get a professional editor and say take one two three messages I need the transcripts of all of them and I sit down and edit it does it mean that is that person that wrote the book please respect him he is the author of this book men of God hold this book and they never know the author they preach it they write other books with reference to this and never give honor to the author they give honor to their wives thank you for motivating me on the computer while I type they give honor to their children thank you son for not being stubborn while i wrote the book and they ignore the owner listen there is something called plagiarism plagiarism is an offense correct when you take somebody's thoughts without due permission and without making reference how many people have plagiarized the spirit of god we use his words every time and every day and nobody has been arrested and we never give him credit if david Dam catches somebody recording his song and making money from it they will first share it into half and then take him to court and say no way it came from god but through me you are not going to just read from are you getting if somebody carries the koinonia worship team song and just runs with it like that they'll sue the person to court yet 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 we take everything that is of the holy spirit he gave us unrestrained access to use it as though we wrote the book look at how i quote scriptures as if i was there i can quote it then i will be stupid to not acknowledge him the holy spirit is the author of the bible second timothy 3 16 2nd Timothy 3 16 I want you to read one to read all scripture is given by what is the word breath is the word pneuma the Greek is rock an expression a manifestation of this of the Holy Spirit all scripture how many all scripture all scripture not some not a major part all scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect and all of that. So the Holy Spirit is the author of the word. Write this down. 
Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is not one of the 4,000 religions on earth. That's quite an information you want to know. I don't know what's the current, maybe somebody has invented something from January till now. Now that recession is on, somebody must have come up with something. But the last time I checked, there were at least 4,000 religions on earth. Isn't it amazing? 4,000 plus with followers, all with followers. You can go and register it officially, your religion. State your tenets of faith. Prove that it works. They give you a patent to, to smuggle people from whatever religion into yours. Christianity is not a religion. It has never been and will never be. Religion is man's attempt to manage his confusion about God. Religion is man's attempt to find God without the agency of the Holy Spirit. Religion is man's attempt to create an explanation of the realm of the spirit and the dealings of God without the assistance. Religion is the product of man's pride. Religion is a direct product of man's pride. His refusal to accept that there is God but accepts that the realm of the spirit is real. So people argue oh the sun is there the planets are moving around it and there are millions of galaxies and all of that and all of that and this one if the sun is too if the earth is too close to the sun if it's too far and then out of all of that the scientists who have succeeded in doing that tells you there is no god and the bible gives that person a name it's called a fool he said only a fool will say in his heart but these ones did not even say it in their heart they've written it in letters they have blogs for it only a fool will say in his heart there is no god look at me if all of a sudden you enter this place and you see this fan and this keyboard and this mic and i told you that some metals were just moving around and then a wind blew them and there was some electromagnetic force and it just came together and formed a mic and reduced down to Tosin's height and then another one became a pulpit. How intelligent do I sound? So, to tell me that some cosmic bodies flew from Mars and other planets had a big bang, boom! Then the water molecules suddenly had, uh, what they call that thing? frogs that thing that toads carry like fins and then started growing out leg and then became one ugly thing and then eventually grew and then became something else and then became black and ugly monkeys and then from there my great grandfather was coming out I, and then look at how dull those things are but we believe them oh Oh, 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 Christianity is an experience. Christianity is a revelation. It's not a religion what we call christianity the faith life the work of a believer what was committed to us by jesus is a revelation is an experience it's an experience it was the holy spirit who birthed the church the holy spirit birthed the church not only did the holy spirit father jesus the holy spirit birthed the church jesus was not ashamed to call the holy spirit his father he said my father in me there is my father who is in heaven but there is my father who is in me abba my source my sustainer so it was the holy spirit who birthed the church listen 
we talk a lot about Christianity many zealous people have died in villages many people have been martyred but we have ignored the Spirit of God while we have ignored him is a mystery he started the church he started the church and today we drive him out of our churches we drive him out of our cathedrals we call him a nuisance we say he is too noisy we have sent him out of our families we have sent him out of our businesses we have sent him out of our lives we have sent him out of our ministries we have sent him out of our homes we sent him out of our children we sent him out of civilization we sent him out of government we sent him out of our finances the spirit of god second corinthians 13 verse 14 my assignment tonight is to bring him to your consciousness that he is a person write this down the holy spirit has a definite form he's not an amoeba he's not like a boneless creature no the holy spirit has an exact distinct form the reason why he does not reveal his form ordinarily to people is because he wants jesus to be glorified not because he does not have a form are we are we together now you have to get this when you are in the realm of the spirit you can see the person of the holy spirit now it's very difficult for you to understand this because pastor femi come if this is joshua selman I, you cannot believe that i am in pastor femi's house or i am in his heart that possibility cannot be understood in a three-dimensional realm the concept of omnipresence is not a reality that our civilization is used to there is no that that ability to be omnipresent is not there that's why the internet was allowed by god to show us that omnipresence is a possibility i can be in my room right now scattered across over 45 nations of the world there are different people connecting right now and they are hearing at the same time some with phones some with laptops some seated right now as soon as this series is over we will upload it and in minutes literally minutes people all over the world are downloading it omnipresence is a reality the internet has shown us that it is possible there is a station where facebook is zuckerberg is a person but he has multiplied himself through a mystery are we together so they say are you on facebook it's the same way saying have you given your life to christ but there is a personality called zuckerberg there is facebook office but there is facebook in your house there is facebook in your phone and whoever does not have facebook is not part of zuckerberg are you seeing that now so how will you say it is not possible for the holy spirit to be living in you and to work with you you can have facebook in your phone but you can meet with the person zuckerberg and be in the real facebook office there is a real form there is an office today you can snap called facebook but there is a similitude of it zuckerberg is in everybody's phone whenever you say zuckerberg the phone facebook is the representation of the presence of zuckerberg so when you gave your life to christ yes you were born again but jesus is in your heart it is true but in your heart in the person of the holy spirit the person jesus is in heaven seated today with a solid body he will return with it so when you say i belong to jesus it is true but the seal is the holy spirit he's the one who validates that your claims are true more on that next week when I'm, I'm teaching you on the ministry of the holy spirit the holy spirit what do i want to get today to teach you second corinthians chapter 13 verse 14 i want us to dwell in the understanding of the person thank you thank you pastor of the holy spirit let me talk about these three things the grace of our lord jesus christ he says and the love of god he says and the 
communion koinonia fellowship intercourse sharing together participation of the holy spirit he said these three things should be with you number one the love of god the love of god is an expression of the benevolent nature of god it's an expression of his generosity his his fortitude to express his nature in and to and through men the love of god paul is saying if you want to walk and do business in this kingdom the love of god must be at work in you the love of god is revealed in the person of jesus christ and also revealed in the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus jesus did not come to the earth just as a suggestion of himself he came in response to the father's love he came to prove the love of the father that's the first thing paul says we should know the love of god i'm not dwelling so much there the second thing he says we should know is the grace of our lord jesus christ what is the grace of our lord jesus christ it's not just unmerited access we're not doing a whole teaching on grace but grace is not look, look at me grace is not unmerited access alone that is just a dimension of grace grace is a generic terminology that is used to express any and everything that comes from god any and everything that comes from god is called grace are you seeing now it's not just salvation anointing is grace wisdom is grace my definition of grace is given in the bible every good and perfect gift that comes from above is called grace it's not just unmerited access unmerited access is a dimension of the operation of grace if all you know about grace is just unmerited access no the power to perform is grace because it is not your own you are giving it the grace of our lord jesus christ then he says the communion please give us amplified let me dwell here and then we'll pray the communion i'll be teaching you the next time we meet on the ministry of the holy spirit but the starting point of the journey of your walk with god the first thing he wants to achieve in your life when the holy spirit comes to you is fellowship partnership is a product of fellowship 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 there are so many people who want partnership but they do not want fellowship partnership means to work with him that's that's the section four or so of our course content the ministry of the spirit that's where i will teach you signs and wonders miracles raising the dead healing the sick increase multiplication signs and wonders that's the ministry of the spirit that is partnership with him but the starting point of a believer unfortunately most of our prayers are largely prayers directed towards our needs towards warfare which is important but very little of it is a system built for fellowship fellowship and the fellowship of the holy ghost the personality of the holy ghost not just his ministry not just his power the holy spirit is a real person real person real person he works with you he lives in you he represents the presence of the holy spirit in your life the presence of god in your life but he works with you when the holy spirit comes into your life come darling when the holy spirit comes into your life listen the first thing he wants to achieve is not to use you for signs and wonders that's what you want so you want a sharp sharp impartation let me just fall down roll around roll around stand up and all of a sudden i look around and i say look better invite me because i have power many people know his power but they do not know his person are we together imagine a woman who has been eating her husband's money and never knows him what is his name i don't know what is his best meal i don't know what 
are his best colors i don't know where is he now i me too i don't know he just left home and uh, whenever he comes he knows ah, but you are rich it's his money you have his wife you must be an irresponsible wife correct yeah. the holy spirit there are so many things we don't know about him and we don't care the average pastor talks about him but does not know him our lives are very it's a demonstration that we are very ignorant of him we do not see the ultimate ministry of the holy spirit in your life listen is not to speak to you is that you and him will be so intertwined that you become an expression of his reality the same way he's an expression of the reality of heaven he is the one who makes thy kingdom come possible in your life so when people see you you are so bound to him you look like him you talk like him you walk like him your life is an effulgence of his presence i introduce to you tonight the person of the holy spirit he does not belong to pentecostals listen carefully he does not belong to people in lagos he does not belong to western elites he does not belong to those who can speak english and can read king james how many people go to the villages and do evangelism and dare talk to them about the holy spirit when you come and people are well dressed in suits like me say now these guys are candidates for the holy spirit but you see one mama in the village who cannot speak english i don't mind these people you see that many of us are here seated right now nobody ever introduced him to you they told you about jesus you cried and every time you pray jesus can you hear me and he looks in heaven and says i love you and i can hear you but you are not sincere i sent somebody to you you ignored the person i sent and you claim to love me no no we have ignored him and he has watched us like a gentleman in our pride and confusion we have done everything we have done we have been taught that the moment you receive him you must be a Jujum christian a fiery brother or a lady that is going to marry a man of god and you say me I, I, god has never spoken to me about ministry i'm a quiet businesswoman holy spirit you can just go and remain in koinonia your team and they really need you there you see that attitude how many worshipers sing about him they write songs about him we twist our tongues on stage about him <laughs> god god this and that we don't know him we don't know him it's one thing listen it's one thing for god to be with you but it's another thing to be with god god can be with you as a person but that you be with him that means you have released your will to say yes lord The Holy Spirit wants to reveal himself. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ does not know him. I'm calling us way beyond the realm of power. This is way beyond the realm of miracles. Let me tell you something, pastors, leaders, much more than miracles. Let the miracles be a derivative of his presence. If they have, they can happen in the absence of his presence because you can have the anointing. The same way you can use my ATM and withdraw money. The ATM will not refuse because my identity is on it. The disciples did not know the Holy Spirit, yet they went and they were raising wheelchairs, casting out devils. Let me tell you that you cast out demons. Please listen carefully. That you cast out demons and heal the sick is not a sign that you know him. No. 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 For even the demons believe in God, they tremble. So many people in the body of Christ, the moment you see a man of God walking miracles, and I'm not against it, moving, you know, somebody rising from the wheelchair, you just assume that, Kai, this guy knows the Holy Spirit. No. no. Many people know him as an influence. They know his power. They know what his power can do. But they don't know him because when you know him he alters you in a very remarkable way the proof that you know the holy spirit 
is that you submit your will for his characteristics to begin to find expression in and through you you see that yeah. when a demon you've seen people now you've seen people manifest time and again under the influence of spirit here and in different meetings notice you can for instance you can see this lovely lady right now and assuming there is a spirit attempting to influence her the moment you attempt to cast out that devil she can start crawling on her knees this is not something that she should do as a human being but the spirit is trying to execute his characteristics so when the person of the holy spirit is at work in your life your life becomes an effulgence of his characteristics you don't just say um we are angry people in our family that's how we are i'm anointed but we are angry if he lands on me i give it to you even god you know beat me i beat you god no go those those stupid statements that people make they don't know him i have seen many anointed people who do not know him personally i sincerely consider myself not even to know him i know that many people say ah koinonia the whole name the minister of the holy spirit my prayer every time is holy spirit reveal yourself to me while i was preparing for this series i was almost ashamed of myself i said truly 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 what am i now going to say about him that's why many people describe him because knowing him is not something it's like trying to teach you about your wife Jimmy. it's difficult i can only describe her she makes cake because i have a product in my house but is she cake she has lovely sisters and brothers wonderful we can only use descriptions but do you know the best way to let men know him become an expression of him an expression of him when your life vetoes culture all those listen carefully all those embargoes that make you look like a yoruba man all those embargoes that make you look like a kogi man all those irresponsibilities that make you look like a plateau man a kaduna man when they are swallowed up by that relationship they know that somebody else has oriented your life are you getting what i'm saying now very important you can be born again casting out devils but everybody looks at you they can trace you so naturally they say ah this guy's jealousy is from this state they are like that they are all oh no, forget that is anointed they are like that but when they can hardly describe your earthly identity you have switched to a true relationship with a personality that you are so intertwined with him that people can look at you and guess and say where are you i don't know whether you are from rivers or you are from plateau state or delta and you tell them i'm from zion the zion of god truly speaking the same way when you see a jam bite in a university even if he's 40 years you will know he's a new student he's an adult outside but when he enters that institution he will try to be matured but you look at him you know that no this guy is not used to this are we together the lingua franca the way of talking the way people are doing there is a popular pothole that everybody in that knows if you, you can with your eyes closed you can jump in then he falls into it that's a jam bite he's not drunk he's just new these are realities with the holy spirit when i look at your life and the characteristics of the spirit are not manifesting there i know something is wrong anger bitterness we think these things don't matter the person of the holy spirit was designed to remedy this lapse so on a good day based on my culture based on my village based on where i come from i cannot stand and look at it she should kneel down and lie down self because i mean i'm a man i'm a king he comes into your life and introduces who god is to you he shows you who god is and says in the kingdom that you so love and respect jesus that you so admire this is not how he is and he not tell he doesn't tell you what to do he influences you to become it the power to become not the information alone to become the power to become can anything good come out of nazareth you are talking to a man who has met the holy spirit without him nothing good can come out of nazareth but with him 
with him with him with him the person of the holy spirit is the mystery the mystery that turned his tamara like benny Hinn to become a world-renowned figure there are many people i have gone for meetings and i've seen signs and wonders but never felt his presence he was almost absent in that meeting signs and wonders can be happening but he's not producing conviction people are just clapping but nobody is living with any sense of conviction because he's not there when you enter Benny his meeting whether you are dead or alive you know that the spirit of god is there signs and wonders are just a confirmation but you know let me tell you how you know a man of the secret place it's not miracles presence 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 not just when you are playing keyboard presence there is a presence if this lady sprays perfume very nice quality perfume and i hold her like this after a while is it true that i should begin to smell that perfume when you walk in a restaurant at the back of the restaurant where they cook and the firewood is there and you claim you were there for two hours cooking rice and you leave you should not smell fresh that place should implicate you no matter how neat you are i should see palm oil somewhere in your clothes or sweat you should smell like that rice or smell like smoke or smell like the kitchen you can't come out and you are still looking like this and say i was cooking rice not gas stove no it's a sign you were not there how many people claim they know him and they think because somebody flew under the anointing is just a sign no sir no sir listen i tell you the secret of koinonia is not just miracles there are ministries that work in 10 times more miracles 10 times the miracle that this ministry has worked in put together if benny Hinn should show up here they will all happen in one night but brothers and sisters the difference that presence that's what creates conviction so you can listen to a message you already know everything about it yet it will pound you and change you and you find yourself on your knees that's something that even when your parents say you should do it you didn't do it presence you know him when you can prove that you carry his presence you know him when you can prove the reality the reality you know a lot of people see me and they say apostle joshua selman has a call you know revival helping people experience god it's not really a call that's not yes i have a dimension of a call to reveal the person of the holy spirit but it's even if i'm talking about finances or i'm talking about whatever that presence that presence that presence just like some of you are listening to me now there's someone seated outside the wind may not be as favorable as you want yet something is happening to him that's what can make somebody who is a non-christian sit down outside and you are talking about what is not directly salvation but a presence lands on his head you see him shaking and just sitting it's not every shaking that is just anointing that carried people is the effect of his presence his presence his presence i'd like you to close your eyes and pray one minute and say lord not just your power a revelation of your presence pray pray the presence in my life not just power for miracles you are in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god he says listen and the koinonia the fellowship that the holy spirit is not an archangel please the holy spirit is not an archangel the holy spirit is not the firstborn of the angels no he is called the angel of the lord's presence but the word angel there means the messenger of the lord's presence the conveyor not the slave of god no 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 
no the holy spirit we have ignored him so much spirit breaker break our walls down spirit breaker heaven come down Walls of unbelief and doubt and fear. Break our walls down. Spirit break out. Heaven come down. You were brooding over every dark. You are causing light to shine from darkness. He's brooding over every darkness. He is causing light to shine from darkness. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. That's what he's doing in your life. He's brooding over every darkness. My God is causing light. You are brooding over. Shine from prophesy one more time. Oh, you are brooding over every night. You are causing light. Light. Listen. The Holy Spirit is the one who taught me the word. I remember, let me tell you next the next time we meet i will share with you a lot of stories about my work with the holy spirit how the holy ghost started with me the spirit of god is not power many people want power they want somebody to rise from wheelchair because you think that's what will bring members have you not seen signs and wonders producers no his presence his presence is a product of a real relationship do you know him do you know him do you talk to him do you respect him is your life an effulgence of his characteristics show me how he dis he took that anger out of your life show me how he's taken your tribe and culture out of your life you are proof every darkness lights to shine you are brooding every darkness you are causing light to shine one more time you are brooding you are brooding Listen, I've shared a bit of my experiences with you people when I would be in the room lying down and I would see a mist like fog what you call fog a mist the shape of a man standing there a real mist next the next time we meet I'll share with you all these encounters a real mist and brothers and sisters I will be frozen not just under his power his influence every part of me is shaking like a leaf for hours I don't know what it's like things are entering me and leaving me I cannot even explain is it that he's speaking to me is it impartation is it deliverance I don't even know all I know is that like a hand upon me 
and I tell you I remain like that for hours sometimes I will not even say one word one word it's not all this fake trying to pray and check time and say it's two hours let me steal so that no 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 his presence defines your longevity his presence defines how you pray his presence defines what happens you don't tell him nah -uh. his presence till today that is a practice I will never trade for anything no matter who I become or what I become listen let me tell you something the moment the moment you say oh god give me tea i bind every devil you're not going to experience his presence but calm down and set the atmosphere spirit of the living god you are welcome here i give you my life take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me this is you praying now not give me tea and bread take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me breathe on me take my body my soul my spirit affect my life breathe on me as i look to you for life affect my life breathe on me I look to you for life. You are the Holy Ghost. Let me show you what I do in my secret place. Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Hey. The Holy Ghost. Take your place. Hey. Take your place. was primarily designed as a spiritual system to know him to meet with him prayer was designed primarily as the system that conveys his presence to you there is the warfare dimension of prayer there is intercession there is supplication there is the prayer but he said when you pray pray in this manner Abba Father, listen, who art in heaven, not give me tea, give me bread, I must marry, I need a child. He said, your kingdom, your influence, your person come. Let me tell you why many people's prayer lives are dead. It's not because they cannot pray in tongues. I know many people's prayer life. My prayer life is one of the richest points of my Christian life. My, my prayer, I pray that one day during a vigil here, after we do anything, we, we will pray. I want to show you what I do in the secret place. My prayer life is not a boring time. You know why? Because I don't carry all these things that people, I don't enter his presence just disturbing him and talking stupid things. Let me tell you, there is a strategy that the devil uses for your prayer life. The moment you want to pray, he tries to make you weak. You will even think you don't have the strength for five minutes time of prayer. And then this is what many of us do. You just stand up. Oh God, I've been telling you about this thing. Oh God, my job is coming tomorrow. No, you don't need his presence. You need power for that one. When you want his presence, be ready to give him time. This hurry, hurry thing that people do, you will not find him that way. No. Presence. I let worship begin to set the atmosphere. I have made, I have made an altar. You see that? An altar. I have found the night time to be my best time of not just intercession and warfare alone, but deep intimacy because in the daytime your phone is ringing somebody is disturbing you see don't ever give an excuse for why you don't seek him i'm married i have 10 children i i am 
I am um, an accountant we finish in the bank late you always have time for what you love hallelujah I'm yet to see what can distract me when I'm having deep fellowship with the Holy Spirit my phone can ring to hell anything can happen you must you you use desire and respect to keep his presence not just faith desire and respect come and you are praying the Holy Spirit your your boyfriend Holy, um, Holy Spirit how are you um, uh, my boyfriend how am I Holy Spirit how are you um, this, no 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 you are not serious and it's not just moving ba, 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 ba. and you are running ba, 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 ba. that's warfare not fellowship when you are ready for fellowship you let him define the modus operandi of the prayer session he is Lord over the prayer session there are times I go to pray and as soon as I get there immediately do you know sometimes let me tell you what happens sometimes I can be studying my Bible or even just relaxing I know when his presence shows up now his manifested presence the moment I begin to sense his presence around I try to discern is this just wanting me to pray or something immediately I go and lock my door the Holy Spirit loves privacy he's a very private person forget that you see his power like this the holy spirit there are things he will never do and show you in public no sir thank god for corporate gathering but the specifics of his dealings with you must be in the secret place sleep me no That's why many people's prayer lives are not rich let me tell you when he comes the first thing that happens is his that man to learn it learn it the presence of the holy spirit should affect your spirit soul and body when he comes it's not just by faith you know he's there his influence envelopes you this is how people become strong presence careers not just power careers presence Benny Hinn was describing one time, you know, he's my mentor in that area. And Benny Hinn was describing how he was preparing for meetings. Do you know? He said when he's preparing for meetings, it is directly from the secret place. He would just bath. Ask anybody who knows me. I know many times we are coming directly from a trip. But Koinonia here, especially Miracle Service, it is from prayer and fellowship straight. You see me stand up and come here not just no no matter how many minutes stand up from watching football and just say i mind you let me just wear my tie quickly who are you playing games with you want to come and cast out devils you want to come and change somebody who they use a spell to keep him a non-christian for 30 years who do you think you are that you want to speak in two hours i remember i was teaching one time on um, revelation of heaven and hell he was outside one um, at is it an imam or ustaz one gentleman he studied arabic he was seated outside while the teaching was going on i mean the presence of god was pounding on that gentleman and the next thing all of a sudden outside here the overflow the heavens were open for him and he had a vision of jesus way before an altar call he, i don't know where that guy is now but that kind of born again, there's no going back. Encounters are not products of power. Encounters are products of a person invited into your life and the effect of his presence. This encounter thing that you see people talk about, different ministries, they write all kinds of the supernatural. When they say the supernatural, let me tell you what they mean. A man of God who comes and somebody falls down, falls down a few healings here, and they say, Man, it was a powerful meeting. Let me tell you, an encounter is an experience that makes a person and a thing real to you. It doesn't have to be visionary, but it must be supernatural. Are we together? Imagine if all of us here, inside and outside, imagine all the people here that we become true presence carriers. Do you know do you know the dimension of the kingdom you will produce in the life of people 
dimension all these many discussion and counselings you just come and stand near somebody and a presence there is an invisible personality with you I tell you I give you two or three minutes you see that person shaking the person is not shaking just because they are not help, 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 I'm sorry. the person is not shaking just because there is an anointing the person is shaking simply because you think it's power that's what people say that this is not power this is presence you go into a business meeting you carry that cloud you go to your home where there is a shrine that they smuggled somewhere you don't need to know whether they planted it in a football field under whatever just carry that presence like the ark of god in the house of obededom and you watch what begins to happen one of our ladies here was telling me i think she went home and she said she just played one koinonia message and when she played she said it was like human beings were running physically out of the house presence 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 balaam cursed them and he turned and saw no 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 the shout of a king his voice his presence is in their midst let me tell you what i will explain to you next week but the key to walking in strange levels of health and freshness physical biological freshness is not just rubbing goat milk cream and all of this let me tell you the presence of God can revitalize revitalize are you a Christian revitalize all this issue of somebody 20 years you are looking like 30 sluggish you are uh, this and that <clears throat> let his presence roast away all that chaff out of you in all sincerity and in all truth i truly consider myself to be stronger and better and happier than ever his presence how you know he's with you is joy unspeakable full of glory it's called the joy of the holy ghost ah in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my heart only comes alive every time i hear there's a joy in my soul in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my soul only comes alive every time I the world is full of sad people it's angry and sad people you know why my wife offended me my husband offended me they didn't pay salary this person did this the government is wicked Buari is not a nice man this one did this um osimba joy is not doing well this one is doing this let me tell you joy is not a commodity that you can get on earth joy is one of the blessings of his presence joy joy is not just laughing like a fool the ability to sustain and you ignore the storms that your you can see people in see let me tell you in the olden days when they were going to kill missionaries before they would bomb they would blow them they fed them to lions lions and peronero will sit on his throne in a theater and they will bring out one of the saints do you know how the guy saw they took human beings and tied them and then they lit them to be the torchlight that he will use to see human beings roasting to give light and many of them before they died they sang amazing grace they said no 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 when you laugh in the midst of the storm it's not natural the holy ghost is a sign that you are aware they were about to stone stephen all this frowning around thinking you are the first the devil will cheat you you must learn a system of joy i know there's no money in your pocket but don't allow the first sign of depression is that it has a way of taking away joy when men are about to die the first thing is they stop talking ask the doctors they are angry they have entered into a state of acute depression but he said the joy of the lord 
is my strength strength you see why many people are weak you will never come and meet me like this ah, life me. joy joy unspeakable you can't fake that one his presence gives me joy all the time all the time it doesn't mean everything just happens the way i want no there are all, there are too many people to annoy you every 24 hours that's what satan wants as you are sharing the grace somebody matches your your leg by mistake and you say about i say what uh, what uh, allow me to tell you sorry i was about to say it and it spoils your mind i say this koinonia it's just because we are serving god otherwise your joy is gone is your joy so small rich in joy he said for with joy shall you draw is one of the reasons why many people don't get miracles haven't believed they don't have joy the joy of the lord that is your strength they don't have it see let me tell you something some of you came to koinonia sad angry depressed as if the whole world is on you when there is nothing else you have keep your joy in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy that I now have it truly comes alive every time I hear your voice there are times that we go for meetings and the hospitality is not at its best sometimes it can be so annoying because we've traveled so far and you see the people wasting time maybe keeping us so long in the airport to pick us those things can bring anger and all of a sudden I remember the joy of the Lord the joy of the Lord if you remember your bank account to be happy you will soon die if you remember the presence of your child if you remember that oh i have my certificate under under one newspaper that i wrapped if that is why you are happy this world does not have room for that to give you joy do you know many people try other things trying to get joy they try education they try marriage they try money this money thing you see they try everything they try bullying others they try politics no the true source of joy joy unspeakable is the holy spirit look at what happened to job a man boils lost his entire estate dogs were licking him he was seated in the ashes the wife had looked at him and he said though he slain me yet will i trust him my joy uh -uh. satan has not cheated you if he does not succeed in making you ignore the ministry of the holy spirit i don't care what else leaves you if the holy spirit is in your life covet that fellowship 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 listen tonight is a night of restoration because some of us you were not like this listen carefully that's not how you started with god there are people here scattered across the day you became a pastor the day you became a man of god you became a reverend the day you married a pastor the day they gave you a position of a president that's the day fellowship died no need for fellowship again i'm busy busy for what busy for what i, I now have a job you know before i i wasn't working but now my job requires that i'm in brazil today portaco tomorrow i barely have time hey spirit cultivate fellowship with him your life would have been 10 times better than it is if you did not ignore him now you may say he's in me but you ignored his person i can have a visitor in my house and leave him in the parlor in anger to prove to him that you are wasting my time and enter another parlor and be doing a business discussion is he in my house yes but are we in fellowship no don't say God is in my heart. Don't say the Holy Spirit is in my heart. Are you engaging him? I know you prayed. Oh, I prayed about it. What did he say? Me, I have shall prayed. If you pray and did not have an instruction or a direction from the word, you have not prayed. The confusion in the life of many people today. Listen, there are many there are many things in people's life. There are people today who have traveled to geographic locations where they have no business being there. 
somebody just got up and felt like God was sending him to um, Australia the Holy Spirit was not consulted you just felt it was just a, a rumbling in my stomach and you got up and got visa and went and you are almost dying in Australia there are people who they just sat down and they ignored him and started churches they had prayer meetings they had evangelical meetings and just assumed Kai I think we are large enough to start a church and they started it think how many things have gone wrong in our lives sincerely because we have ignored him think how many people right now are regretting their marriages because they ignored him my mother said I should just marry anything and I just marry. ignored him he told you have three children you had seven you are seeing what is causing you now he said we ignore him all around think of how he has cautioned people many times and we refused our stubbornness and stiff neckedness tonight is a night of genuine restoration there are many people you used to walk with him his presence the holy spirit would wake you wake you at specific times there are people who have that encounter where he would wake them but now you threw him out the holy spirit is like um in fact when you study certain hebrew studies he's like a woman that's where you get the word roak hakodesh you see that it's a feminine characteristics if he's not invited he does not come if you keep him in the parlor he remains there forever you tell him holy spirit enter my house but parlor bedroom and the first toilet that's that's where you should don't ever enter my kitchen you will keep eating nonsense and have a beautiful parlor because the area you allow his influence is the area you see the glory of God don't say he's in me did you invite him to your finances his presence not his principles we try to learn Bible we go to theology schools we go to Bible schools and we never consult the author I told you he's the author of scripture he walked with people in the Old Testament are you not seeing how he turned a little boy called Samuel to a wonder he called somebody looking like me Samson and made him a judge over Israel look at the people he transformed he turned Deborah Mary said how shall these things be he said don't worry the father of this child will be the Holy Ghost the power of the highest the Holy Spirit the manifestation of the possibilities of God listen let me tell you everything today that is happening that is good I learned something from Bishop Oyedepo he said everything that is good credit it to God everything that is bad credit it to my not hearing him I adopt that principle if there is anything that is good in koinonia the wisdom from the system of the messages if there is anything that is bad in koinonia I take responsibility it is a revelation of the area where I've not yielded to him so is your life so is your life you gave him access to your academics look what his presence is doing you literally sit down in an exam for 20 minutes you don't have an idea all of a sudden something comes in your life and you begin to write even things you know that you did not read you gave him permission there but you rejected him in your finances and you say look you know this economics we have to do it with intelligence and oh how gentle he is he will truly step back truly step back the psalmist said cast me not away from your presence he said take not your holy spirit from me it's not enough to have him have you allowed his person to influence your life that's what we're talking about look at many of our parents he's not an influencer of their decisions they have used experience and look at the things that are happening in their lives because they have ignored him you are too young to master life your age is too small to navigate the vicissitudes of life the oldest person on earth is not up to 150 years trust the ancient spirit He's the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. He's the Holy Ghost, 
scepter of the king of kings is the holy ghost seal of the age to come is changing I woke up this morning and I got a very sad text from a man of God. I remember talking to the man. He said he wanted to start ministry somewhere. And I told him, I, I said, I think you need to relax. I look at you and I do not see, based on the description of the kind of ministry, I don't think I've seen intimacy in the Holy Spirit. And he ignored me. He just forgot everything. And he went to go and start the ministry. And he sent me a text this morning. He said, I'm frustrated. I don't know what to do he said for the first time in his life early this morning he was contemplating suicide i can tell you not with the holy ghost impossible suicide where from the voice that can show you a way where there is no way the holy spirit when the nation of israel were trapped he said i will send my angel before you that was the angel of the Lord's presence to speak, not just an angel like Michael. No, Mary, how shall these things be? See, not that I know not a man, he said, The power of the highest. Please hear me. The secret to you doing what has never been done in your family is not anger, it's him. All of them embraced a spirit. You, you are not embracing anything. You just say, I'm born again. I will be successful. It's pride. You are a joker. Nobody succeeds without the assistance of a spirit. I will teach you partnership next week. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. I tell you his ministry to unbelievers, his ministry to believers, and his present day ministry to the church. But tonight, I want you to know that the Holy Spirit does not just want to be in you. He wants to walk with you and the Lord walking with them and the Lord walking with koinonia and the spirit the author of the Bible opening it to Joshua Selma not that you go on YouTube and download a message and say ah this Greek word you write it coin them together and go and preach no the same way where you meet an author he autographs on the copy he gives you and you know that you met with the author To you I will run, my beloved, you've captured my heart. Listen. Come. Can you surrender your life to the Holy Spirit? I'm not saying be born again. That's not what I'm saying. Donate your life. Holy Spirit, I donate myself. I'm tired of what I can be without you. And my lifetime is too short to keep guessing. And later find out I've wasted my life. So I hand it over to you. Are we together? To you I will run, my beloved. That's Songs of Solomon. Like the prodigal son who the father saw him and he ran, embraced him, hugged him, put back the robe of royalty, the signet ring, and said, my son was lost, but now I'm found. Many of you have left him. You left his influence and you went to do your own thing. I'm not just talking of it doesn't have to be bad but if it's not him you will still suffer how many hired servants do my father have they live in plenty and here I am a son of the kingdom feeding on pigs and my benevolent father is there but I must run to him before he comes I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say father I have sinned against you and against heaven I am not worthy to be called your son but take me as one of your servants he said and when the father saw him afar off he ran one thing I know with the Holy Spirit all he needs is for you to take one step and say Holy Spirit 
I ignored you. I have ignored you in my life. The moment a guy came into my life, he just took away my brain, took away my sense, took away you. Would you dance with me? Lover of my soul To the song of all the songs Sing it one more time. Would you dance? Let me tell you how I prepare for miracle service. I lie down with my paper and my Bible. I don't just get up and say the sick are coming. Spirit of the living God, I am limited. Thousands of people are coming. Probably thousands and millions of others connecting around the world. I am too small to heal them. I am too small. And I mean his presence just mantling me. And I'm saying, Lord, right about now there are people. The venue is packed full. The troubles that people have is too much. I can't be the one to solve it. And then he tells me, don't worry. Partnership. Let me show you one scripture before we round up. Give me this scripture, please, quickly. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. 3, verse 9. I hope I'm right. It just came to my spirit. Please quickly, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. I never walk alone. I know he's with me. For we are what? Laborers together with God. We are laborers, partners. Shalakota salabatea. Partners. 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 There is a role I have to play. There is a role he has to play. I'm a partner with him. I never walk alone. I would have died if I'm the one leading Koinonia alone. No, I'm too small. I don't have that wisdom and experience. My life is too small to be the way it is by my own strength. Young Gicho wrote a book, Holy Spirit, my senior, not my mate. Holy Spirit, my senior partner. In his church, he has a big chair like you find in the Anglican. That chair is for the Holy Ghost. He said, I cannot be sitting down in front and the Holy Spirit is nowhere. You may not put a physical chair, but open up your heart and say, this is for you forever. Forever. And then he will show you things. I told you he is the wisdom of God. He comes into your life and produces signs and wonders. I look at my life today and I'm humbled. I don't even know what to tell him. Holy Spirit, what you are seeing, if there is anything good that you see in my life, behind the scene, there is somebody living through me. If I stretch my hands, it's his hands. What you are hearing now, you are looking at a physical person. But if God were to open your eyes, I'm like a puppet. He's speaking through me. That's why the power that comes from him only flows through me to you. The devils know what they are seeing. The sicknesses know what they are seeing. The lady who had an issue here, when I was hearing those testimonies, you know they were all thanking me. Thank daddy. What I was doing in my heart is thank the real daddy. The father in me. The Lord of Koinonia. The true apostle of this ministry. Not Joshua Selman. I will be stupid to claim that I have the power to lead people. You made a way. You made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how, but you did it. That's my testimony. For he's moved the mountain. You cause walls to fall. And with your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing.
you may be going through things tonight that humanly speaking you don't know how it will be done that is not your business that trying to find out how it will be done is the secret to killing yourself leave that to your partner your senior partner he's the wisdom of god he's the author of scriptures he knows where he needs your answer is listen stop weeping stop crying stop looking like life is all over your head no say to the righteous there is a reason why you say to them he gave them the holy spirit he said tarry in jerusalem don't let pride make you go out and start preaching tarry until he comes Hallelujah. look what he has done with this ministry today you see let me tell you something every time i hear the reports about what god is doing we travel around all the place all the time tomorrow we're in lagos and i see the mighty things that he does and i see people coming sometimes to enter the car people are all around trying to touch any part of my body crying man of god and i keep looking hi do i really truly in all honesty do i really have the power to solve their problems no pride is what has killed many of us we drove his presence through pride yes i'm the one ah that prophetic word came from me that prayer came from me that uh fasting came from me that this my church i built it with my wisdom i studied xyz that business i i, I know these things Hi. let me tell you ask all those who know me i look like a bold person but my personal life i can be so shy especially when you start thanking me or i, I don't know where to put my face you know this type uh, we want to appreciate a very great man of God ah you have killed me I don't even know where I'm going to hide my face because I know you are lying you think you are telling the truth but it's a lie I know him prayer point number one Lord any part of my life that is yet to subscribe to your influence tonight I lay it down I lay it down oh surrender everything don't say I'm not a pastor this is not a pastor affair don't say I'm too old I'm too young oh, I, I surrender all to you everything I give to you withholding nothing withholding nothing I'm withholding nothing withholding nothing pray koinonia I surrender everything to you shabala katalabosia everything i give to you lord i'm withholding nothing withholding nothing lord i'm withholding nothing withholding nothing not my life not my ego withholding nothing Withholding nothing, Lord, I surrender all to you, and everything I give to you, 
I'm withholding nothing Withholding nothing Take my heart And mold it Take my mind It's my prayer alone Transform it Pray Koinonia Take my will yeah, yeah. Conform it To be yours Let it be like yours Oh Lord Pray Surrender everything Take my heart Share And hold it Take my mind Transform it I give you my will I give you my will Transform me To yours To yours everything I hand it over to you do a handover ceremony tonight I hand it over I stop this pride of mine and I hand over my life and everything not just to your power Lord of my relationship Lord of my life Lord of my finances the chief influencer of my destiny hallelujah prayer point number two Lord manifest yourself in my life and to me man let there be a revelation of you a revelation an encounter with the Holy Ghost lift your voice and cry for some of you, what you need to say is, Lord, restore it. I want to know you. I want to hear your voice. I want to call you, Lord. I want to touch you I want to hear your voice I want to know you more. I want to know you I want to know you I want to hear your voice I want to know you more. up your voice and pray in one minute and say lord whatever has held my life whatever has held my destiny please be serious tonight please the word of the lord go and tell pharaoh let my people go lift your voice and pray go and tell pharaoh Go and tell poverty, let my people go. Go and tell delay and hardship. Go and tell yokes and spells that have held the destinies of men for generations. Announce to them. Go and tell them, let my people. I acknowledge they are my people. Pray. There is a reason why you are praying. Let my people go. Let my people go. Let my people go. 
Let my people go. Zabros kato risha barianda kapras kalabadia. Libro zoso preti ke shabratis kalabaria takuria sambradishila. Exodus chapter 10 verse 7 10 verse 7 we are reading down to 10 please hurry up media help us and Pharaoh's servant said unto him how long shall this man be a snare unto you let the men go that they may do what this is the reason why they have to go there is a motif for liberty there is a motif for prosperity there is a motive for advancement he said let my people go that they may go and keep it their place and serve the lord their god then he says knowest thou not that egypt is destroyed read on next verse eight and moses said unto and moses and aaron were brought again to pharaoh and he said unto them go serve the lord your god but then he began to negotiate he said but who are they that shall go finally i have been persuaded but let's begin to talk who are those who will go verse 10 okay verse 9 leave it there and moses said we will go with our young come on our future and we will go with our old there must be restoration certain things that should have happened he says and with our sons and with our daughters and with our flocks and with our herd he said for we must hold a feast we are not going like fugitives we need to go triumphantly are we together now verse 10 and he said unto them let the lord be so with you as i will let you go and your little ones look to it he says for evil is before you when you read on he began to negotiate he said let's allow the men go but leave the women moses said no way everything is going listen when god saves he saves to the uttermost he will not bring health and leave finances are we together now many believers have an attitude of negotiating with darkness let me tell you something when you mount pressure on satan he will release something small and let you go and then we get carried away out of 10 people in your family only one person now has a breakthrough and you are still satisfied moses said no we are going with our old we are going with our young you release my job but my health is still there they must all go it's the same command that affects everything are we together i came here angry tonight in my spirit oh it's not as if some of us have not received breakthrough but the devil has deceived us with miracles so that you can no longer turn back and see that there are other things that have refused to move so he gave you a job and little did you know that the child has not come and time is running if god gave you a job can't he give you a child tonight is a night of dogged insistence everything if you release one every other thing must follow you can't release my brother's salvation and keep my father's own this night everything must go are you hearing what i'm saying please pay attention he says let my people go i don't just need them to serve me but a feast before me a feast is a sign of victory in ancient times when they won war they would gather the women and the young children and the victorious men would come with the head of the king or drag him together and they would sing blowing the shofar it's called triumph it was an and then all the spoils that they had gotten from the land they would bring it and as they began to dance the bible says in the multitude in the midst of multitude is the king's honor so they would gather slaves that came from that nation and they will come and like bow down to the king to show that we are yours now he said let my people go you can never truly serve the lord until you are released to go i want the people to serve me 
but as it is there are situations in their lives that cannot allow them serve me are we together yeah so they say you have a medical condition you can't pray for 15 minutes you lift your voice something hooks you that's a pharaoh holding you you can't pray there's nothing you can do i've said it again you see people go to pray and the moment they they stand to pray the next thing they stop praying and they are moving around because of worry because of worry they cannot pray financial worries health worries are we together now we prayed for a woman in lagos during a program who had been pregnant for two years how many years two years every sign of pregnancy but the machine shows that she's perfectly fine her stomach is flat according to the machine is that a medical condition no sir life is spiritual remember spiritual intelligence life is what this pharaoh we are talking about is not just a man pharaoh is a spirit he uses men just like jezebel pharaoh is not a man the man pharaoh died the spirit pharaoh is still alive and there are many people under the bondage of pharaoh but not tonight not tonight the mighty god of israel will arise with an outstretched arm I, I told you what the Lord told me here while I was praying. He said, trust me and watch your situation turn around. It doesn't take time. It only takes faith. When you trust God, he will prove himself in a way that will surprise you. Tell my people. Please sit down. As always, you have a role to play. Everyone listen to me. The role you have to play is your commitment to serving God listen 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 deliverance is not for you to leave egypt and live your life your own way at your own times no sir he said let my people go that they may go and serve me listen write this down service is the greatest way to provoke judgment over darkness service thank god for prayer thank god for fasting next week we are going to start another powerful i will be sharing with you a very deep kingdom mystery next week service is the greatest way to provoke judgment the moment there was a willingness in the heart of the nation of israel to serve god listen god will not step in and break poverty in your life just because you are an adult it's too small a reason to see the hand of God this is where many Christians authorize Satan to destroy their lives are we together now come you are in bondage and you want liberty this is your place of destiny this is where you are Egypt and the Lord is saying there is a condition there is a state of heart you don't have the power to deliver yourself but you have the will to say lord i am committed to serving you but poverty is stopping me from buying books i want to buy the books are we together i can't pray because the rent is expired the landlord is not a spirit he's alive he's a real person he's coming tomorrow and god says you mean you want me to clear the way for you to serve me god says that's the kind of prayer that i like i say now the challenge with many believers hear me and this is where we strengthen satan listen carefully tonight our unwillingness to live for god and to serve him are we together versus his outstretched hand and his power to deliver us god wants to deliver us but the justification the basis upon which his hand will come upon us many of us disqualify ourselves because our motive for deliverance is not genuine there is only one motive one let my people go that they may do what go and serve me serve me they may go and serve me this has nothing to do with being a man of god please listen 
this has nothing to do with being a pastor this has nothing to do with being a pastor's wife serving god is the lifetime assignment of everyone what you call your job or any avenue is just a doorway let me tell you brothers and sisters it says i shall not die but why will i live but live and declare live and proclaim the justification for being alive and being victorious is a heart and a life that is committed to promoting the kingdom you are representing him and advancing the frontiers of his kingdom there is no devil strong enough to take your life he says many are the afflictions of the righteous the bible says but the lord delivered him from them how many affliction is not unusual are we together jesus himself said let us go to the other side and he met a storm meeting a storm is not a sign that you, that um, you are not a christian jesus met a storm on the all-knowing god said let's go to the other side between prophecy and manifestation he met a storm so meeting a storm in your life is not the issue the storm overcoming you and making rubbish and nonsense out of your life is where your victory becomes questionable there are many of us here right now with all kinds of storms standing before you dead sentences given by doctors some of you are holding it and wondering can god change it there are many of us in situations that only god in heaven you can't even share it with human beings because they do not have the faith to believe a man can be going through this and still be alive but there is a god in heaven brothers and sisters you are gathered tonight before that god in heaven there are men who are held in bondage god has anointed and called them but the doors of ministry will never open you know why because many of them don't want to serve god doing ministry is not serving god no sir make no mistakes about it you're a man of god here pay close attention let me show you why you keep getting disappointment in ministry you can be anointed praying in tongues raising the dead all that is stories if your heart is not committed to serving the purposes of the kingdom forget about all of these things most people want power when you see a man of god walking in the anointing when you see crowds when you see all kinds of results happening in the life of a man and a ministry many people admire they want it you see god has no problem giving it but your motive your motive your motive oh god give me twins god says even if you want 10 i can give you what is your motive let me tell you something this issue of committal to serve god this committal to follow and pursue hard after god is a big secret a big secret the justification behind the stagnancy of many people and the motivation behind them leaving that place to another realm let my people go oh lord change my financial status god says i can it is within my power but what for and he said god i'm just tired of poverty god says that's not enough reason that's if i give you too much money with no assignment it will kill you it will destroy you the bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them lord give me a crowd of thousands of people make me a man of influence lord let people love me let me just be a celebrity and god says it's all within my power justify your reason and he says lord i came from a background of inferiority god says so what that's not a reason for me to trust you with influence and grace but when a man's heart becomes resolute lord grant me finances so that one day i will override the building of your house god says you want to do this for me and then you quote his scripture back for the sake of thy house i desire thy prosperity and god says that's it you've satisfied the condition to see my hand lord heal my body i want to serve in your house but the department i want to join requires energy and lord i have found out that i have a medical condition that cannot allow me carry chairs and god says who gave you that condition the moment anything stands between you and serving god it has become god's enemy it's god's own fight 
let me tell you how to join God and Satan you service let your problem follow you to the altar of service and stand back and God says whatever stands in the way of any man serving me has become my enemy including a man are we together now when he when 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 the captain of the host of Israel appeared before Joshua he said are you for us or against you? he said all that is nonsense whoever is on God's side is the person I'm for if you are against God I strike you if you are for God we are a team God is not a Christian God is on the side of whoever has the heart to glorify the father and to see his kingdom come and his purposes established that you're a Christian is no guarantee that you will get the partnership of God your heart is God preaching to someone tonight Lord I want you to launch me far I want you to change my life you have said it's the year of triumph and God says it's not a lie brother there is more anointing and unction than you have ever dreamt to walk in leave all these kindergarten visions here and there there are superior dimensions but your motive you, you pray for 40 days but your motive corrupts it from day one and God says come to a point where your heart is committed to serving me and I will not release do you know my 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 project with God is to come to a point where God is not afraid of doing anything with me or committing anything to me I want to get to that level of trust with God where whether the virtues are with him or with me it makes no difference because it's all his own come on now whether that anointing is in the throne room or walking through my life it makes no difference because it is for his glory tonight hear me it is God's desire to heal you it doesn't take rocket science but now when you become free and energetic what do you do with that strength that's the question God is asking Lord I used to sing well but then I had an infection that destroyed my voice and God says but I've never seen you commit yourself to singing in my house and lifting up my name and now you want me to clear that throat condition so that you go back and the devil will use your voice for nonsense and God says no way you can cry you can roll on the floor if your motive is not intact forget about the experience of the power of God are we together now say Lord say it everybody Lord I declare that as you bless me as you heal me as you deliver me I vow to serve you with my life I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back the cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. The cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. Forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back, hey, no turning back. Don't man forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Come on, sing it before him. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Hey, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. It's a 
costly assumption to assume tonight that everybody wants to follow Jesus he said I've, I've discovered that there are people who genuinely are not interested in following God I'm not talking of self perfection I'm talking of a sincere committal to following Jesus genuinely with your life no way there are many parasites of Jesus financial parasites of Jesus there are parasites of kingdom principles they want to use kingdom principles and mysteries as a ladder to become famous sir it doesn't work that way oh. please hear me tonight there are people every time you hear a man of God talk about passion for Jesus you think they are talking about ordination to ministry no sir is an addiction to see his kingdom come for God's sake what else will I be doing with my life if not lifting up his name Jesus I lift up your name Jesus I lift up your name that's what I do for a living Jesus I lift up your name Time lift your voice and say, Jesus, I lift up your name. If God cannot find his purposes fulfilled through your life, I tell you, forget about the outstretched hand of God. You hear me say this, don't let any man fool you. God is not a herbalist. My brother is your heart God is looking for. Not tithe, not offering. Your heart, not music, not just energy. My son, give me your heart. Give me your heart. Give me your heart. I want your heart. When we talk about Jesus Christ, many people frown their face as if you are speaking against civilization. The days that will come, please hear me, people of God. The days that will come will require outspoken radical passion for Jesus. All this organized civilized nonsense that makes God look secondary will be the recipe for the dominion of darkness over the life of people. Oh, I'm now 25 years. Don't, don't make me look like a child. I'm now 30 years. I hope you know I'm now the director of A and B and C nonsense. And that's the reason why you are. David danced before God. And his wife said, Abba King. And keep your dignity. And David looked at her and said, hold on. You don't even know the mystery of how you became my wife. If you know it, you will join me dancing. I was a little boy with no hope, no destiny. Didn't read any book. I was a smelly shepherd in the wilderness. I danced my way beyond any king to get to the throne and now because I am here you carry your dignity the Bible says God had him all and that woman died barren it was not the devil that made her barren let my people go not that they may go around causing trouble and wasting time and just counting age and growing older let my people go that they may go and serve me this issue of living for jesus serving jesus no let bless him accepting him into your heart there are many people when you talk about genuine surrender not coming out to recite an altar call i make up my mind i am for jesus forever they laugh at you they laugh at you because it doesn't make sense to them they don't see the need why should I give my life to Jesus I want to be the God of my own self so you manage your life by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you answer your prayer by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you mismanage your life by yourself it says submit down to the mighty hand of God then resist the devil and he will flee you know i sincerely see a lot of people great men and women of god who want to walk in the anointing and i see the way 
they play games with submitting to the authority of Christ you will never be trusted with certain dimensions of the anointing until God vets your passion you can't fake it there is a level of kingdom influence and power no it go to a harbor list you will still not get that dimension it takes your heart dead to Christ not just living this one you have died to the purposes of the kingdom otherwise you cannot carry certain levels of grace no the kingdom has rules you you can fake it with men but not with God there is a dimension brothers and sisters where God vets your heart and sees that pastor Femi will live and die for me I'm not it's not one leg in today and God is not sure what you will become in 2019 no Basanko 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 listen to me everyone inside outside the overflows along the road listen I want to make a serious altar call now everybody sit down and listen carefully let me tell you something brothers and sisters coming to surrender your heart to Jesus is not an initiation into a religion called Christianity now are we together now where you are switching founders <laughs> from an idol worshiper you were worshiping stone are we together and now you say Kai, stone is not a better alternative so i come to another founder there are not ten gods there is one god hear ye o israel the lord our god is one god i don't care who preaches what there is only one god the king eternal we can argue it but one day very soon the difference will be made clear there are people seated here listening to me i don't condemn you but brothers and sisters it's time to be serious with god shortly you're going to experience radical deliverances and healings and miracles but that is only useful when your heart is with god i don't care whether you have been a pastor for 10 years there are two altar calls i'm going to make in one right now please hear me carefully those following us online from any nation you're following just listen carefully you may not be able to run out but i want you to pay attention and participate number one there are people for you you have never made a genuine decision you have heard that people repent you have heard that people come to jesus you have even given them transport money but genuinely from your heart my father is a pastor that's not what i'm saying I grew up in a church you are joking you have to come genuinely we gave our lives to Christ it's not an inheritance of a family you come personally the other day they blessed all of us together you are not born again it has to be genuine personal and conscious when I was a baby they baptized me come and join them as soon as I made that altar call you come and join them are we together number two there are those who the war of passion and seriousness with God there is this fear of getting serious with God for some reason you think if I get serious with God my, I won't make it in life the moment I'm serious with God I won't get a nice husband uh, men these days don't like serious ladies who, who lie to you which men which one are you talking about the drunk are there the smoke are there or a genuine Holy Ghost born again visionary brother if I'm serious with God when it's time to chop in the office my conscience will not allow me chop that's a joke is it that God cannot bless you must you bribe to rise that's how everybody is doing it you are lying that's not how every that's how you know or you have been taught that everybody is doing it 
Elijah said, I'm the only one. God said, keep quiet. There are 7,000 others who have not bowed to Baal. Please hear me. There are people here. God wants to visit your family, but there is no one in your family who is born again. And you will be the first tonight. Because God needs an access point to your family. The system of the kingdom is such that God must find a portal within a territory to manifest his purposes within that territory. If and when God does not find a man, his power is still limited. There must be an individual through sacrifice and alignment who will be able to host the purposes of the kingdom within a sphere to allow the possibilities of God find expression. So if God wants to come to your family, he moves everywhere and everybody says, I'm, I'm, I'm too busy. He comes to your mother. She says, I'm too busy looking for money. He comes to your father. I'm too confused to give my life to you. Comes to your brother. No, I'm, I'm too, I'm too, I want to marry now. God, please go somewhere. He comes to your sister. I'm looking for men. There's no time to look for God. And God says, I want to step into this family. No one has given me space. If God can find one person, he, he needs to take it step by step. When he finds you, the prophetic implication of your relationship starts judging the powers of darkness one by one. And before you know it, someone starts having a strange dream in your family. He lies down and he has a dream of rapture. He won't share it, but that dream would torture him till he thinks about it. He would get up alone and you'll find out for the first time he didn't steal money again. He saw angels. He saw the white throne. He doesn't need to know what it is. His spirit has been designed to recognize spiritual things. But tonight, you must come genuinely to Jesus. Don't come out here if you are playing games. It has, let me tell you the implication of coming out here. You must be ready to scatter and destroy wrong, dangerous and ungodly relationships by the grace and the spirit of God. You just need the will. The grace is what you receive here. Number two, you must be ready and willing to be committed to the house of God to grow. This dilly-dallying with God is the recipe for failure. I'm too young to reject God. The fierceness of life will destroy me if at my level in life I claim I'm too big for God. Before we continue tonight, I'm going to count one to ten. Listen, everyone heard me loud and clear. Overflow outside, overflow along the road. As I'm speaking to you, the Holy Ghost is probing you. Those of you standing on the fence there, I see you. And the Lord is speaking to you online. Probably you are listening now or following from another nation of the world. And you are saying, but I'm far. Distance is no barrier. It doesn't matter. You are still on earth everyone on earth will be judged whether you are in london whether you are wherever i'm going to make this altar call now i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come to jesus i know you will be healed young and old i don't care how long you have been you are saying lord i'm tired of living my life the way i want i want to hand it genuinely inside outside start running one to ten one Genuinely run like there's fire on the mountain. Two. Mina Yesu ne bazanko 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 so keep coming don't say there's no space even if you have to line up outside no problem this is your salvation with god greater than any miracle tonight just find somewhere to stand if the place is full keep lining up there right outside five someone is still thinking about it and saying apostle i'm a nice person have never done anything wrong it's just that i've not declared jesus join them by the self-righteousness of no man can he be saved you didn't do anything wrong but that very nature of darkness is resident upon you 
all of you who are standing here please don't look at anyone lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to jesus everyone who is standing stretch right outside and those online talk to jesus right now and say jesus i come to you i come to you pray talk to him and everyone seated i expect you to be praying for someone's salvation you know everybody around you cannot be saved there is somebody somewhere still hardened towards the things of god lift your voice and cry to jesus lord i'm saved but my father is not saved he's on his way to hellfire and i know it my mother is not saved i know today that if the trumpet sounds they are going to hell for sure i know my sister is not saved my husband is not saved my wife is not saved my colleague in office is not saved lord i know that pastor is not saved he has a church but he's not saved pray cry your heart to jesus he is here much miracle service you are meeting with the savior he wants to reveal himself first as savior before deliverer before healer hallelujah hallelujah all of you standing stretched to the outside please look at me i see you some of you are crying sincerely from your heart listen there is no man who has the power and authority to condemn you young and old i don't care what you have done i don't care how your life is we are all products of his mercy and grace are you hearing what i'm saying don't let any man point an accusing finger but then you cannot remain where you are there are people standing here and say man of god if you will lead me to pray i will i will love it i've been praying for an opportunity like this but there are powers always keeping me wherever you are inside outside don't mind who is looking at you lift your right hand to heaven and you're going to say this prayer after me please it is not a poem it is a genuine genuine prayer meaning from the depth of your heart it says i am not ashamed of the gospel why for it is the power of god unto salvation the lord wants to give you a new beginning i know you came to be healed but he wants to take over your destiny with your hands lifted to jesus who is here not in heaven right here in this place say after me passionately and sincerely say lord jesus i love you with all my heart this night i have heard your word and i make up my mind that from tonight and for the rest of my days i will live for you i will serve you without shame without fear without going back this night i hand over my life to you say it again i hand over my life to you be my lord be my savior i declare that the power of sin of satan of the flesh is broken every association that is not of god i'm separated from them this night i declare that the joy of salvation and the peace and a new beginning is mine from today i am a child of god and i will live for him forever hallelujah keep your hands lifted jesus look at the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and today we are glad to present them to you this is why you put this meeting together we lift them up as trophies worthy trophies for your blood worthy trophies for your death and lord i decree and declare that these ones you have brought tonight none will be lost 
I speak over your life the joy of salvation that very few people know about may it be your inheritance today I declare that the peace that surpasses all understanding let it be yours today I declare that every guilt the devil uses against you every accusation we roll it away right now in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven by the message of God I declare that you have a new beginning with God you are empowered by the Spirit to live a victorious life in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen let's appreciate them keep standing everyone I'll give you some instructions now now there are so many of you probably hundreds of you this is what I want you to do um, protocol please help coordinate let's do it this way those of you who are in the second overflow the overflow right from the door that leads to the road as you go out please let's have some of the ushers you stand so they can attend to you there what will happen is they are going to have your details I know you are all so many but we want your details we have a system to follow you up and to make sure you are grounded in God that's number one that's the first instruction so those outside those here at the overflow and those inside you may not need to go out just wait where you are and someone will come to attend to you please I hope the relevant departments are listening so that we can respond to them very quickly we have five ten minutes for this because I'll start praying for the sick now praise the Lord now the second instruction I want to give all of you is this the Bible says they that be planted in the house of God it says they shall flourish it is important not only for you to just get born again but to be planted in the house of God instruction number three is we have a system of spiritual growth here in Koinonia It's a very large house so what we do is that anyone who gets born again automatically we transfer them to our prayer department for one month whether or not you will continue as a member in the prayer department the prayer department meets Tuesdays 4 p.m. just at the church uh, when you walk from this road right down Rema Chapel more information will be communicated to you and so we usually have all um, new converts to be part of the prayer department there you get to be filled with the Holy Spirit and you have seasons of prayer to build your spirit and it helps you to cultivate a culture of the word and also to have a kingdom community that supports your spiritual growth all these things are very important for your growth I don't want you to waste this experience praise the Lord I bless you in the name of Jesus and shortly the Lord is going to be turning your life around in greater dimensions so let's do this very quickly appreciate them as they go just guide them whether or not you belong to any department you're a member of koinonia you see any of them moving just guide them as they go out quickly let's honor them koinonia as they do so is that the best you can do hallelujah Please coordinate them, coordinate them. Let's just give them some room so that they can go out and then we will shake off every power of darkness roaming around anybody's life. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. Hey, I never see anyone like you. Where's Sam? Help me. I never see anyone like you. 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 I never see anyone like you.
everyone stand up let's pray some prayers before let's pray some prayers while they are working on the people everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please say be serious in the name of Jesus father tonight visit me this is my destiny give me strange results lift your voice and begin to pray visit me in the name of Jesus visit me step into my destiny step into my destiny step into my destiny hallelujah in the name of Jesus shout it again in the name of Jesus every long-standing issue in my life and my destiny I declare that you must give way tonight lift your voice and begin to pray long-standing challenges are you praying tonight? Long standing issue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, if you can pair yourselves into two and pray this prayer. If you are holding a child or you are doing something, that's all right. Otherwise, find somebody, a serious neighbor, hold a hand. I want you to agree. Say, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the door for the next level of my life and that of my neighbor must be open now lift your voice and pray agree if any two shall agree as touching believe in what you are saying you are opening doors Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are still holding your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight, take away shame. Take away mockery from my life, my family, and my neighbor. Lift your voice and pray seriously. Roll away the reproach. Roll away the reproach of mockery. Roll away the reproach of shame. Roll away the reproach. Pray. Roll away the reproach. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, expose every force, every yoke, every spirit 
behind the tragedies in my life in my destiny and my family expose them tonight lift your voice and pray for the light shines in darkness pray for the light shines in darkness let your light shine oh God Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your anointing, let your unction locate me tonight and turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray that the power of God must locate me. Change my destiny. Let your power pray. One encounter with the anointing of the Holy Ghost can wipe your tears, my brother, my sister. Pray. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like menorah. Light me, Lord. Listen, listen to me. I will just give you an instruction. Just help those under the anointing, but listen to me carefully, please, everyone. Do you know the reason why we minister deliverance? Listen, listen carefully. You have to understand this. The reason why we minister deliverance, you don't spend your whole life going through deliverance. However, there are lives, come my dear, when a spirit, listen carefully, when a spirit latches onto your life and destiny, brothers and sisters, let me tell you, I don't care what you do physically. Remember spiritual intelligence. You can be doing the right physical things, but the presence of a spirit representing an embargo, representing a covenant, an authorization for your doom will keep you down there and you find out that your life will never open up when people gather like this hear me they come with prayer requests they come with problems but you see behind those problems are spirits are we together now the spirits that are responsible for lack of favor the spirits that are responsible for a hard life the spirits that are responsible for infirmity all kinds of cases you know one of our dear people here in the ministry 
I prayed over the father's picture. I've seen those kinds of cases on television and all of that, but you could look at the leg and see the bone. The bone, the flesh had eaten to a point that you could see the bone. What happened to the man? He went to bed in the night. Brothers and sisters, I think somebody did something for him in a dream and he woke up physically and his legs started eating up. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. You want to move forward but there is an embargo. The solution is not counseling. You need an encounter with power. Everybody say power. Listen, the power of the Holy Spirit is not a negotiator. It's an enforcer. When the power of God comes, it does not ask you whether you want to be free. Your assignment is to be open till it reaches you. When it comes, it scatters anything that does not look like God. Lift your hands, everyone. Just lift your hands and be silent. I will pray for you now. The Spirit of God is upon me. Lift your hands, everyone. There are people here right now. I want you to bring there the first sets of people who will come out. Usher's grace for you and protocol. I know you have a lot of work today because there's such a crowd right to the road. But I want to pray. Everyone, please lift your hands. The Lord is speaking to me. There are people right now in your silence. Hold on. Maybe just this. The power of God will begin to come upon you. What is happening right now before we pray for the sick is massive deliverance. That deliverance is equal to breakthrough, equal to new levels. But lift your hands. There are people here who are under strong yokes of delay. And the Lord gives me an instruction. We will just lift our hands and be silent. That's all the instruction. And inside and outside, the Spirit of God will begin to locate them. Are we together? When that happens, then we'll take it off from there. That's the first thing God wants to do tonight. Just lift your hands, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. And there are people and families and those following on, online. Except you are not under the influence of the spirit of delay. That spirit must leave you. Are we together? So keep your hands lifted. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, wherever they are right now, I stretch my hands. According to the instructions you have given me, inside and outside. Right now, I see the anointing of the spirit already falling over the spirit of delay. Keep your hands lifted. Shalakataya. Bring them out. Outside. There. Just the angels of the Lord are walking. I'm seeing like smoke. Just moving across lines. Line by line. Inside and outside. When it comes to you. When you are under that influence. That's the end of it. Right now. I command it. The word of the Lord is upon this prophecy. In the name of Jesus. No instruments. Don't play anything. Outside. There is massive deliverance happening. Separation from delays separation from delays bring them out thank you jesus delays you want to move forward but the spirit ties you down it's over right now no you can't dodge it you are under an atmosphere there is an influence the influence of the spirit line by line the holy ghost is moving row by row there is no faking it line by line lord every row every line every individual let no one in this category escape it for the sake of your mercy and your grace no matter where you are inside and outside online don't worry the spirit of god is moving one by one it must catch up with you the word of the lord is upon it Bring them out young old destinies that have been delayed tonight there is serious grace for deliverance those of you lifting up your hands be sensitive be sensitive we're in a prophetic atmosphere right now Malata Sadaba Secretes Kebarite Shobra Hasaya. Bring them. I see people outside. Kai. My God. 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 Many people. Many people. 
many people many people there's someone you are following from kenya you are watching from a laptop the anointing your hands are shaking the spirit of the lord is upon you judging every darkness tonight you will be located by god you prayed it you must be free please help the ushers if there are too if there are too few protocol join them different departments help them the lord really wants to set people free it's a year of triumph don't think these people are just coming out for show they represent breakthroughs these are the people who god wants to give testimonies darkness raging over the lives of people they came from different places how will god leave them that way right now all of you in front here i decree and declare to those spirits at the count of three let them go you know my voice one two three go 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 out of their lives now out now i command you by the influence of the spirit i decree and declare let their destinies go delay broken hallelujah now lift your hands my god you'll be surprised at what will happen now everyone self tell me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus the grace for open doors right now break every chain in my life keep your hands lifted watch it happen now that's the instruction god gave me that grace breaking chains now i'm speaking across the congregation i have been seeing this for weeks padlocks opening in the realm of the spirit that's what the lord is showing me padlocks opening 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 right now I open them I'm under the shadow of your your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow. Your influence is all over me. your hands fire is coming on 32 people and this fire that is coming upon them is to break family altars i hear family altars right now oh god in the name of jesus one two three i set those altars now on fire right now 32 people i see in the realm of the spirit i command it right now i command it everyone on this ground under the influence of any altar now be free now help them please help that lady be free now right now be free now be free now your influence is all over me i'm under the shadow of your own 
everyone lift your hands say this after me in the name of Jesus please say it seriously say in the name of Jesus any spirit that has had access to my life and is causing destruction hear the word of the Lord as I shout the name Jesus I command you to live my life at the count of three shout Jesus there will be an exiting of many strange spirits one two three shouting I command spirits you go now you go now you go now you go now inside and outside any spirit resident within any man's life any woman's life causing pain Hallelujah. Or shall I pray for grace for you in Jesus' name? Because what I see now is not a nice thing. The Lord is asking me that we shout Jesus. There are people who are going to vomit physical things. That's why I said it's a messy scene. I, I apologize. We're very neat and organized people inside and outside. But in the name of Jesus right now, any stranger in your body at the count of three must go out now. One, two, three. I command every stranger. Go now. Every poison. Every devil causing sicknesses, every fibroid, every devil, every enchantment. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision of a lady. If you're here, I want you to come out. I'm seeing your family doing something like a sacrifice. And they are giving somebody, everybody a substance. Like a drink. Something to take. They gave everybody, including you and you took it. Where is that person? Please, if you're here, I want you to come out quickly. It's a, it's a highly diabolic thing they gave everybody. Where are you? Come. Your deliverance comes now. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Help me. Your influence is all upon me. Let's have another mic, please. Hold on. Stand up, my dear. Is this the lady? Two of them? Stand up. Where are you from? Look at me. Huh? Kogi State. What happened to you? Hold on. I converted. Hold on. I'm looking at you, Kai. This thing. You entered a covenant. Huh? Yes. With who? I don't know. My mother, I don't know. They she brought somebody and you people entered a covenant and they gave you something. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Jesus. I command that covenant, Jesus. that demonic thing, time your life. In this miracle service, it lives now. In the name of Jesus. You too? Where are you from? I'm from Kogi State. You are from Kogi State. The same thing. Hold my hands. Look at me. I command that devil to leave you now. Whatever yoke. Please don't come out if I don't call your case. Are you part of them, Mr. Man? Young man, you're part of them. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Bring the, you, are, you two. Come, make sure that, so that we don't get the place rowdy. Be delivered now. Help her. Out! Be free now. Out! I'm interested in this lady. Please, stand up, my dear, if you can. This lady's whole family is in bondage. Whole family. The entire family. Nothing is working in your family. The Lord wants to deliver you right now. Hold my hands. 
I command that spirit your time is up leave this family now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I break the yoke over your life now out now there is a lady you have been coughing blood where are you you are coughing literally and blood is coming out there is a lady like that please where are you let's hurry up we have a lot to do this night the lord is asking me to minister to a lady that coughs and then blood you cough blood who is that inside outside except you are under the anointing please come out quickly i want to pray for that person now where are you how long hold on just just keep up where's the mic how long you you are an usher you how long Eh? Three weeks. for three weeks you've been caught lay your hand on your chest you too lay your hands on your chest you too huh substance your what me. hold on please guys hold on yours is what the substance you spoke about what substance some to take in the family. lift and your the hands question. lift your hands lift both of them I'm seeing an angel pouring something on your hand your hand will start shaking and then the lord is bringing you strange deliverance it will start from your hands down to your body i place the word of god upon your life right now in the name of jesus christ both of you look at me both of you cough out blood in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon you it ends now in the name of jesus out right now there are spirits responsible for this you know what i just saw the lord opened my eyes and i saw like a cage and in the cage i saw snakes that's all i'm seeing that's all i'm seeing lift your hands everybody the lord is just asking me to wave my hands over the congregation there are people who represent that oppression it will leave now the lord is asking me to wave my hands lord as you have said i see snakes in cages whose destiny is that right now whose destiny is that i wave my hands in the name of jesus please release them for your glory release them now help them please jesus christ inside outside be out of that cage now i see snakes serpents some of you see them in your dreams they must go now they are leaving you now now they are leaving you now i command liberty 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 hallelujah i'm hearing a name jane jane like j-a-n-e jane 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 I'm also hearing another name, Victory. Is it Victory? Like Victory. Victory. Please don't come out if that's not your name. What's your name? Jane. Your name is Victory. Where are you from? Delta State. Delta State. I have to pray for you. Your family is being seriously oppressed. Why are you people here? You are all Jane. Jane. Your name is Victory. I want to pray for you. Kaza chat. Kaza chat. Is it Kaza chat? Who is that? Kaza chat. I'm hearing that name. That's that's like a Kaduna name. Kaza chat. Please, who is that? The breakthrough of your family has come. Kaza chat. Is it? I don't know why God is going to Kaduna now. Nom. Is it Nom Shu or Nom Shu or something like that? I don't know if there's a name like that. Nom, Nom Shu or something like that. Nom something. Listen, that is your name. You are... Why are they here? I call their names. I'm going to lay hands on you. Except for you. I don't even know why the rest of you are. But please, I want you to believe. 
the moment I lay my hands on you, something will happen. The Lord is saying I should start with you. Lord, open her door now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Reproach leaves your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reproach leaves your life now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Reproach leaves your life now. Reproach leaves your life now. Hold my hands. Call your parents and tell them the Lord is giving them breakthrough. Your family, your entire family. Delta State. Breakthrough right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. The serious witchcraft over your life. Hold my hands. Lord, the Lord is asking me to walk with you. This is how your destiny is opening up. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Walk with you. To walk with you. Something is happening. It's a prophetic act. You will not help her to walk with you. Opens in the name of Jesus. Your destiny opens up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. This girl, lift your hands where you are. I'm seeing wind around you. And the Lord is, that wind is going anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and the lord said his restoration i stretch my hands upon you right now i release that grace for restoration restoration there are seven other people who will tap from this anointing this same anointing right now seven seven right now the anointing for restoration is coming upon them receive it right now wherever you are Lekate praskata baratu shubrediara. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside. It's like you came here with your daughter or something. I'm seeing a woman sit down with her daughter outside. Now that's all I'm giving about you. Please, if you can find that woman and if you understand what I've said, I want you to run and come. I want to pray for the sick now, but God is delivering people. God is delivering people. Seth. Seth. Who is Seth? S-E-T-H. S-E-T-H. Your name is Seth. 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 The Lord is stepping into his life right now. Seth. Is there someone with that name? Seth. Have you found the mama I'm talking about? Don't worry, let them come. Let them come. Doesn't matter. With your daughter. Mama. Kai. There is the spirit of death on your family. I'm going to pray for you. Don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. You came from where, mama? From Edo State. From Edo State. Yes, but I'm living in Wusasa. You live in Wusasa, yes. but you came from Edo State. Yes. I must pray for you. There, why is he here? Who is this gentleman? Seth. You too. You are an usher. Okay. Kai, this is not the set I'm seeing. No, I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone else. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. Huh? Because I'm seeing an accident killing you. And you took what's the name of this thing they take? We we. And you were high. You were about to cross the road. And then I'm seeing a truck with the name Angote on it. Just running and killing you. There is somebody here. You smoke. Please don't be. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's not like you are not a serious person. But this thing you started taking it from when you were small and it's destroying your life you want to be free but you can't leave it please don't be ashamed come out now quickly please if you are still thinking about it remain on your seat some you have to be free now come out i'm seeing one you wore jeans dress like your shirt i don't know if it's your shirt is jeans who is that no no there, there's another come out i will pray for you this, this is not the only guy. Just keep them here. I will pray for him. 
I'm seeing another person outside the second overflow. You are standing on the road. The Spirit of God is speaking to you. Speaking to you. This thing they roll and they smoke. And then you even, I'm seeing you swallowing a drug. I don't know what drug is that. Please come out. Come out. Clap for them as they come out. Join them quickly and come. Whether I mention your case or not, you are involved in any kind of liquor and addiction. Indian hem, whatever, forward march. Come here, your salvation. Come, sir. Please appreciate them. Clap for them. Some of them are not bad people. It's a spirit. Don't be ashamed. Please usher, uh, direct them so that they come here. I'm seeing up to five ladies in this group. Up to five ladies. Come. Don't be ashamed. Don't let anyone laugh at you. Please, this is a miracle service. Join them. We, we, Codeine, whatever it is, join them. Whether you know the name of what you are smoking or swallowing or not, come and join them. Please, quickly, that addiction must be broken now. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Keep coming. The devil is a liar. Who can stand against our king? No one can. No one will. Oh, oh, oh. hallelujah i'm seeing a very small boy very small boy very small boy who is supposed to join them young man please hold on please if the parents of the boy are here don't flog him please this is a very small boy you will not even know that this boy is wise to smoke this thing he saw an elderly person smoking it come out there is a small boy here i know what drag him out come where is the boy come out please gentlemen i'm going to pray for you don't worry you are not bad people i'm seeing a number of ladies up to five ladies they are refusing to come out there's nothing to be embarrassed jesus christ wants to set you free this is a miracle service it's not like you have evil people that's not what we're saying it's a spirit you don't stop by counseling mama there is a spirit of death over your family and i will pray for you i will pray for you in the name of jesus who is this your daughter what's your name my dear lillian. Hold on. is this mic working can you add lillian, the voice lillian. lillian what do you want god to do for you i want god to heal you what's wrong with you i mean i have a problem with my tongue no 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 you had a dream huh you saw a snake you can't even remember it and from that day you started having serious problem with your stomach huh what's wrong with you i've 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 got to test and 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 they told me that it's a, a liver problem liver problem yes, 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 because i look at you and you would think you are pregnant but you are not pregnant your stomach is swelling up mama is that true how long has it been? It's, it's out of three years now. Look at, look at, look at evil and wickedness. Are you married? Because you see now, assuming a brother has been trusting God to marry this sister, do you think the brother will marry her? Please help me. Do you think he will marry her? You look at her now and you think she's five or six months pregnant, but she's not pregnant. Kai. There is a lady who has refused to come out. The power of God is going to come upon her outside. You are supposed to be part of those who will be delivered here. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord outside. That lady, you were a sincere lady. But I, I don't know if it's um, another lady. I don't want to say what I'm seeing, not to embarrass you. Because the, what you were introduced to is not only smoking this. There are other things that I see that I may not be able to talk about. I'm asking you to come out. God wants you to be free for the sake of your family. 
the power of God is going to come upon you outside outside to be free of this thing my dear look at me this is koinonia the Lord is going to set you free you believe in miracles mama you believe in miracles I have to pray for you money runs away from you huh madam I will pray for you mama yeah okay do you hear how sir okay this is your daughter please be comfortable whatever language you can speak there is an interpreter here nobody says you must be able to speak english or whatever any language please if i call you here or you stand here for healing don't be under any pressure to say you must whatever language is comfortable speak it if i don't understand we'll find somebody to interpret please don't put yourself under pressure and say no we are excellent people but we are not fools we can't put anyone under pressure hallelujah mommy i want to pray for you because i'm seeing the lord bringing restoration to your life this is what i am seeing and the lord is asking me to pray for you can i pray for you ma i will pray for you I have to pray I'm seeing not you but I'm seeing somebody close to you having an accident traveling to Abuja and having an accident we have to pray I'm not saying it will happen once God reveals it is broken Lord Jesus stretch your hands and let's pray for this mommy you don't have to know her please stretch your hands and pray Lord we avert death we avert death now in the name of Jesus Christ we avert death by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mama. Is there a name like Gracilda? Is it Gracilda or Gracilda? Gracilda or Gracilda. Something like that. Gracilda, Gracilda. Something like that. If that sounds like your name, I'm sorry if I don't mention it well. The Lord kept mentioning it in my ears. Gracilda or Grisilda, something like that. If that is your name, please come out. Eh? Jacinta. No. But come. Where are you coming from? Zaria. Zaria, I have to pray for you. There's a gentleman who will destroy you. Be free now from every influence. Hold my hand anybody that is not designed by god i separate you and him forever say amen in jesus name gracilda gracilda i'm hearing gracilda something Hilda. please if it's not you no problem but that's what i'm hearing mama let's pray in the name of jesus christ i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit new beginning for you hold up please in the name of jesus christ my dear lay your hands on your stomach kai Lord Jesus, you gathered people here tonight to set them free. I cause the spirit responsible for this. I decree and declare that this stomach will shrink. Every devil will go away in the name of Jesus Christ. If you agree with me, say amen. amen. Look at me and you will never be barren in your life. Say amen. There are two ladies you are inside here there is an embargo of barrenness on your family fire is coming on those two ladies now to break that embargo you don't even know it's in your family it may not be in your life but i'm seeing it right now the angel of the lord is locating two ladies right now and is breaking that embargo thank you father i put the word of god upon this prophetic word that embargo is broken right now right now right now two ladies two ladies there's no reason why you should come here and your life should be the same mama i will pray for you this is your daughter do you know that god is going to use this girl god will use your daughter for his glory hold my hands my dear there's small girl now but god will use you in the name of jesus christ I anoint you mama I decree and declare let hardship live your life in the name of Jesus Christ let hardship live your life 
in the name of Jesus hold on I'm seeing a wind and the Lord is asking me to follow it this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance the power of God is coming upon a few people as I'm walking across this place this is somebody's deliverance this is somebody's deliverance Lord set them free right now right now right now I'm seeing something rolling around this row this row this row this row shala sobari atas kabandabria legetege basharatos kabridia there's no hiding there's no hiding someone in this row someone in this row someone in this row hardship over your family is being broken right now i'm stretching my hands this row right there father locate that person right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ mama come i want you to rejoice look at me the lord hold on the lord is saying i should tell you that where you have been crying you will begin to laugh you have been crying for 30 years and the lord is saying your breakthrough has come in the name of the lord jesus christ please shoot for me come madam hold my hands the lord is there and she tell you it's your season of laughter in the name of jesus christ your season of laughter your season of laughter look at me lose her hands now lose her hands now lose her hands now in the name of jesus christ let her hands be loose your hands are tied i lose your hands in the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus christ Open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors. That's what the Lord is saying. Open doors. The Lord has said you have waited too long. It's time for the door of your destiny to be open. Open doors. Come. There is a spirit in your life that makes bad boys look for you. Hold my hands. Leave her now. Out. Out. When bad boys see you, they can't leave you. As they are passing, they see you that spirit calls them back i don't know who this girl is you're a small girl but the things you know are what you have done out now in the name of jesus you have gone to places you should not go you have you have the phone numbers of people that if we know now i'm not saying you're a bad girl it's a spirit including married men they will be minding their business that spirit will call them to you i command that devil to leave you now leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ I want us to pray for this gentleman before we pray for the sick you see let me tell you something addiction is a very wicked spirit don't look at them especially our dear sisters my brother what happened to you eh? gun shot gun shot yes, sir. who shot you I'm a soldier I was shot by my colleague you are a meduguri yes sir no he wanted to kill you huh? but he didn't kill you he was directed to kill you Hi. you are a soldier how long has this been it's going to seven months now seven months which where did they shoot your legs and you can't walk with it look at me you believe in miracles lift your crutch lift it lift it come come Lift your legs. Go ahead. You are a soldier. Lift your legs. Look at this. Come on, Koinonia. Look at this. Lift your cross up. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Walk as fast as you can. Don't be afraid. Turn around. Turn around. Come. Because your wound is not healing. There is a wound, but that is not healing. From today I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ 
the Lord who has perfected this leg will also perfect you. Where are you now? You are in Zaria. You are still in the force. Yes. You are still in the force. Ah? Huh? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Do you believe God can favor? Yes, sir. I have to pray for you. God is going to connect you with a senior person, and He will lift you. Huh? Look at me, brothers and sisters. I want to break this addiction from your life now. Are we together? You are very sincere people. Some of you were initiated into this thing by bad friends. Some of you were initiated into these things by spirit. I'm going to lay my hands on you. While the congregation, whether your child is here or not, whether your brother is here or not, as you are praying, you are sowing a seed for your own home. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Stretch your hands. Don't look at anybody's face and run your mouth on any. It's none of your business. Koinonia is, a, is like a hospital. Stretch your hands. I will lay my hands on every one of them. Please, all of you should pray. I want to break addiction from your life. Don't feel condemned. Jesus will help you. It must be broken right now. Broken right now broken right now any kind of addiction out out now out out in the name of Jesus out look at this guy out break from his life now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ be set free be set free as soon as I lay my hands on you continue praying be set free addiction break break in the name of Jesus hold my hands darling no addiction for liquor no addiction for drugs something is leaving you I'm seeing something like an arrow coming out of your head out of her life now in the name of Jesus I break that addiction. Ah. Hey Jimmy, come. The Lord is saying you should pray for this guy. He will pray for you. This guy needs serious prayer. Just lay your hands on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Now! I command that devil. This is somebody that loves God but this addiction must be broken right now I break it right now I break it right now hold my hands you're a nice lady but we have to break this thing Lord please for your mercy let it be broken in her life in the name of Jesus Christ 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 hallelujah the Lord is asking me to minister to somebody I'm seeing a very interesting case you love God please don't be ashamed there is a particular pain reliever you are addicted to who is that person I want to pray for you now whether you are sick or not come and stand here particular pain reliever you can't help it you can wake up 1 a.m. in the night and swallow it it's a spirit pain reliever I'm not saying you are sick and they gave you in the hospital God is visiting addictions this night quickly come don't sit back and say I'm all right allow God set you free let them come look at this pain I don't know what it is but I hear my spirit pain reliever Whether you are sick, whether you are fine, the urge will hook you and you have to go and get it. If you, you can prefer to take it than to eat food, it must go right now. That's why God put this meeting to help people. There's one of you, fire is coming on you now. After that fire comes on you, then I'll pray for the rest. 
that's the instruction God is giving me one of you fire literal fire is coming upon you from heaven as I lay my hands upon you that addiction breaks right now stretch your hands and pray for them don't feel embarrassed broken now broken now broken now in the name of Jesus addiction broken now broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost broken now broken right now by the power of the Holy Ghost broken now broken now if you have for prayers just move them forward broken now in the name of Jesus broken now in the name of Jesus broken now in the name of Jesus it's broken now in the name of Jesus broken in the name of Jesus place your hand on your stomach God is not only setting you free he's setting you free from something else let her go now in the name of Jesus Christ addiction broken now addiction broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost addiction is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ broken now hold my hands let her go in the name of Jesus Christ there is a spirit that wants to destroy your life I command now there's no hiding place for you by the power of the Holy Spirit you must be set free you are standing in for somebody no problem in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural freedom hallelujah praise the Lord now praise the Lord please accept you are nursing a child or doing something let's all rise those outside they are still praying for you no problem all other people please stand up rise up I want us to pray if you are yet to submit your prayer request please do it quickly the Bible says unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come in one minute God can turn your life around everyone stretch your hands here and pray I'm going to lay hands on the request pray passionately from the depth of your heart Lord I will not have to write this again pray I've written it the Bible says after two days please if there are still people coming bring it quickly it says after two days he will revive us and on the third day he will raise us up online here please pray I'm laying my hands on this request and we're asking the God of heaven visit men and women are you praying now pray shalakata pratakato in the next one minute i'd like you to pray blast in tongues and say lord this is the last of the prayer request that i'm having to write concerning this issue hallelujah agree with me with a loud amen in the name of jesus christ I decree and I declare over every request gathered from this nation and from the nations of the earth online and here in our local environment Jesus I present to you impossible situations according to men and I ask you turn it around now turn it around now Turn it around now. Let every breakthrough request here be turned into a testimony now. Every case here said by men to be impossible. We, we collide that case with the power of God and we produce testimonies now. Whoever must die for this prayer to be answered dies now. 
Whoever must live for this prayer to be answered lives now. Whoever must rise for this prayer to be answered rises now. Whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered goes down now. Whoever must hear God for this prayer to be answered hears God now. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, may your people not have to write this again. Agree with me, may your people not have to write this again. Lord, I pray that before miracle service April, let every request here be turned into a testimony. May the fire and the anointing of the Holy Ghost that makes all the difference let it rest on this request the same way fire fell from heaven to consume the sacrifice of Elijah may fire fall on this now it has been prayed for you will not write it again it has been prayed for you will not write it again in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift up your hands everyone hallelujah listen we're in a very strange season of the manifestation first of the spirit of revelation listen carefully there is a very spectacular outpouring God wants to upgrade the work of his people to access the mysteries of the kingdom not just to know him God wants to equip us with mysteries are we together number two there is a strange outpouring of the supernatural power of God for performance for performance not just that you had God and it never happens not just that you speak and it never happens Number three, this is personal to us as a family of faith. God has declared that is our year of triumph. I want you to believe this word, oh. Believe it. Otherwise, you will sit down and you will watch people rise from nothing. And then you will keep clapping. I'd like you to insist. We still have a few minutes for this meeting to be done tonight. Insist that if you have never stood upon this altar to testify, make up your mind and say, no, God, I must stand before your people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? As I speak over your life now, among the many things I want to speak, right now, I want to activate upon your life the grace and the unction for performance. Many of you may not know what this anointing is. Listen carefully. Lift your hands. He said, who has ever heard that a city was built in one day? But as soon as Zion travels, there is a grace that is coming upon the people of God. Hear me. For performance. He said, blessed is she that believes. For unto her, not unto them. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is not a corporate thing. Unto her there shall be. There are many things God has said that has not come to pass. There is a grace that engenders performance. I prophesy to you now. In the name of of the Lord God who called me and sent me may that unction that will make results appear speedily let it come upon you like fire now let it come upon you like fire now receive it now is yours receive it now is yours receive it now is yours performance performance Performance, shake it in Labata, la brete get a soto ropa shiata. Grace for performance. Everything has.
hanging in the realm of the spirit that is already your portion released by God I decree within the next 30 days it appears physically now I prophesy the spirit of the Lord is upon me I speak within the next 30 days it manifests in the name of Jesus whatever has slowed down your pace in life so that you are not moving at the pace designed by God I put fire upon your feet and I command speed now I put fire upon your feet I command strength speed strength speed strength speed anything that has not yet worked in your life i don't know why but i'm prophesying i'm speaking to it start working now many of you don't understand what i'm doing to you start working now i don't know what projects you are currently on that has refused to produce i force it to bear fruit now I force it to bear fruit now. Hear me. The Lord spoke to my spirit and told me that the month of April for Koinonia, you may not believe it, but for Koinonia and everyone connected to this grace, the Lord said we will see a strange dimension of wealth and manifestation write this down brothers and sisters is the word of the lord i think i was telling you yesterday that the lord told me this you will see people that know nothing about money rise in a way that they themselves are asking what happened listen except the lord has not sent me i declare you must be part of the testifiers don't say I'm too small. Receive it. Don't be foolish. In the name of Jesus, you must be a participant. Listen, I tell you, brothers and sisters, please write this down. You will see a strange rising. Rising. Write this down. You will say I said it. Nothing to some, I mean, mysteriously. People will have to ask what is happening. It is a grace. There is a grace that makes it happen. I'm not talking of business. I'm talking about the suffering word of God upon the life of a man. May it be your portion in the name of Jesus. I decree upon you the kind of favor that will make even your enemies to say there is God in your life I release that dimension of favor now listen you can't rise in this kingdom without the favor of God you will struggle for nothing please hear me I prophesy it again whoever is lacking favor on his life I decree from this night carry favor inside outside everywhere online carry favor let me prophesy over finances whatever makes money run away from you don't say i'm talking about money you need it for what is coming in ahead whatever makes finances run from you whatever dug a hole in your life that makes you suffer in misery and penury i turn it around now 
I turn it around now. I pray for every student here. Malasuda kabari katoshela brigatis kalabratiya. The kind of results you have never seen, I release it to you now. I release it by the Spirit. I release it from the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone due for promotion here or anyone's family member rightfully due for promotion and either because of religious sentiments or because of ethno-tribal sentiments they have trampled upon you I decree and declare may the angel of God responsible for lifting visit your destiny and ensure that your promotion must manifest I pray for your loved ones I pray for you whoever is called jobless here before next miracle service get something doing now I prophesy it again whoever is called jobless before next miracle service I don't know how it will happen but get a good job There are people here trusting God for direction. Very clear direction for the next level of their lives. Could be maritally, could be geographic location, whatever it is. Hear God in this season like never before. Hear God in this season like never before. Lift your hands. I release upon you the grace for supernatural miracles receive it right now receive it right now sapoto so receive it right now from tonight i declare whoever you speak over and command their destinies to open may my god honor it i said may my god honor it Whoever fights you goes down immediately. Whoever fights you goes down immediately. Hear me? Whoever mocks your passion for God goes down immediately. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise, may his prayer be answered. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise in Koinonia tonight, may their prayers be answered. Every embargo of bad luck upon your face that makes your helpers look at you and turn aside, I tear that veil completely in the name of Jesus. favor like never before testimonies like never before koinonia is the place of the anointing koinonia is the place of unction i pray for you a new a fresh grace and anointing let it rest upon you like the dew of heaven begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit I'm praying it again. Begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the Spirit. Begin to flow effortlessly in the gifts of the Spirit. The mantle of honor that God has put upon my life, God has put upon this ministry. You are part of this vision, you are under this grace. There's no reason why it should not work in your life. I command it to start speaking now. No more dishonor in your life. No more dishonor in your life. 
hear me for those who have been trying certain things for a long time whether it's exams whether it's admission whatever you have been doing again business i don't care i don't know where the embargo came from but i break it right now from today any man that looks upon you may god cause them to bless you whatever has killed your prayer life this night i release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication listen see let me tell you something don't ever let people there are people who are under such passion for new things the system of the kingdom is dynamic but the foundations of the things that make men grow are the same prayer the word corporate fellowship obedience if you leave any of these things and you say you are looking for power or looking for anointing is a joke you will never find it one more time i restore your prayer life in the name of jesus christ i don't know what killed your passion for the word your passion for bible study your passion for devotion your passion for the things of god but i command the restoration this night i don't know what took away your passion for the house of god but in the name of jesus may a love for the house of god like never before come upon you in the name of jesus the grace god released to bring the word triumph to come to pass in this ministry may that grace speak over you i speak over your life it is your year of triumph therefore whatever has mocked god in your life i command that in as you enter april from tomorrow you triumph over it hallelujah as you enter april it will not be april full it will be april wise it will be april breakthrough it will be april miracles it will be april speed agree with me again i'm praying with you between now and miracle service april please hear me results together with tears in your eyes for joy you will return with them results together with tears of joy in your eyes wave your hands and give jesus all the praise wave your hands and give jesus praise thank you lord for performance